Club Penguin <laughs> got kicked out that first day. Yep, me <laughs> too. Exactly how that live started. Where the hell is that? <laughs> kicked out, bro. <laughs> My little penguin <laughs> didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> bro. Looks bad. I like that too. Come on. <laughs> You like Modelo's better or Corona's? Modelo's. Modelo's. Why? There's more flavor. Double X or Modelo's? I fuck with Double X's. Modelo's. Uh. Mm. Sorry, Grandma. Mm -hmm. I had to make my racks. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the sacrifice. Yes. <laughs> Show them from the Illuminati. Yeah. Uh. Grandma's got the cancer. Oh, but now oh. I got a bull guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. She left me all her. Terrenos <laughs> Love you Nam nam Sorry about the cancers mm. But I still got the good china mm. And a good hyena And uh. she's kind of fine Damn uh. Uh. <laughs> And you didn't leave me No princess house No mm. No No princess in the house mm -mm. Nope. Just a bunch of mouse Oh, oh. I'll beat you almost there I don't give a fuck When are you gonna get it off me? Mm. I don't give yeah. a fuck mm. Blue face baby mm. Mm. Yeah I mm. mm. Chula mm. 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 Honey girls, and shout out to the girls that were on the live. That are horny did. as fuck. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. We uh. not talking about abortions, y'all tripping. We yeah. already did that back in the day. Fuck the kids. Yes, sir. Mm. That's fuck the, the word. kids. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Get abortions. Word. Get yes, abortion. Yes, My taxes have extortion. Hey. Don't check that uh. to the IRS. Uh -huh. Johnny, that. say it with your chest. Uh, say it with your chest though, Johnny. Say it with your chest though, Johnny. Hey, not like Mickey Mouse. Johnny, that means it's your turn. Nah, I ain't got none. Is that your name? I'm gonna just come in one day and you ain't even gonna know it. <laughs> this is what they want. I'm the one. This is Vintage from 1990 some. I'm the some. <laughs> and we love it because ooh ooh. It's well, your boy there. It's Johnny, what's up? Yeah, it's your boy Gazelle. What's good? Yes, sir. We back and we better, baby. What's up? Shout out to everybody that was on the live we did it earlier, man. Yeah, thank you guys. Right before this, it was like, what, 10 minutes ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shout out to everybody. Yeah, shout out to everybody that was there. It was about, how much did you say? 60? Like, tuned in? 60,000? 60,000, 60, yeah. 60, <laughs> you know what we 60, do, bro. Yeah, we just round it. You know what we do. Yeah, we just we round up. Yeah. We just round up. Uh, yeah. Was, yeah. We getting yeah. audited. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to everybody man that shit was just tight uh let us know if you guys liked that the people who didn't join it and to people who did join it i see y'all sharing and i see you commenting on youtube so i know that you can comment on youtube so let us know if you like that let us know if you like that us doing that even if you yeah. don't like it i think because i was gonna do it anyway so yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you don't if you didn't watch it you're pussy whipped yeah <laughs> if you don't go. know peer now pressure you know. Nope. <laughs> no, no. What time is it? Uh, it's it's I don't give a fuck a clock. That's oh, what time shit, it is, bro. That's right, Johnny. You said you had a good weekend. You said <clears> yeah, yeah. So what's wrong with me? First, it was kind of long. <laughs> um, I went to uh, I went to solving with my Sometimes girl. With the bouncing balls. <laughs> she um she surprised me by going to solving. I was just on the road and I don't know where we were going. We went, we went with her parents. Where the fuck is solving? Yeah, by? Is that? Honestly, I, I didn't know just where it was. Russia. It's is it's that like over Ventura, there. Almost? Yeah, like um, it's by Santa Barbara. It's like over there, so passing mentor. But yeah, it, it was pretty far. I think it was like maybe three hours. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, but fire. it was far. See windmills? Fuck that shit. Dude, no, nah, <laughs> hey, yeah, this is the windmill. Fuck that. No, nah, hey, look, it was really cool. We we went. So I guess the place is um. <clears throat> let me try to think of of what it is. It's uh. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. A town. No, it's the it's the people. <laughs> they, it's a restaurant. So they basically came from uh. From somewhere, you know, I forget where. I don't remember where. What's it called? Was Dutch. It's in Solving Dutch. There you go. It is. So, so, Netherlands. so it's Dutch. So people Otherwise came. Known as white people. It's, so it's, it's Danish. So it's Danish people. So they they came from out there, and um they basically made their own town the way it they're looks Danish, like. Danish. Danish is Denmark. Denmark. It's not sweet. That's not. There you go. Oh, it's it Denmark? is Denmark. It is Denmark. I'm sorry. Dutch? I'm Dutch. sorry, people. Yeah. Dutch yeah. Is from the Netherlands. Yeah, double Dutch is like it has been a bit, but yeah. So they literally Lemonade. made their whole town. Crunchy like ice. Denmark, so it looked really cool. I've never been to Denmark, but I, it I looked feel just like, like it though, huh? Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a big ass ginger. Like, like telling from my day's pictures, yeah, it looked like Denmark. So it was really nice. We had breakfast there. Um, after that, we just kind of walked around. We went to go feed some ostriches. So I'll send you some pictures of those mm. so you can put. Um, it was really cool. Ostriches are violent, dude. Like I wanted to deck one of them. I was trying to feed them, and he was like. <laughs> fucking did. I was like, re fucking lax. I'm feeding you, like, yeah, yeah. and then you got like five motherfuckers trying to eat off of one plate. Should have put the bag and over if, his head. If, <laughs> if, if you don't, if you don't hang onto your plate like tightly, they'll snatch it. Yeah, 
Yeah. And of course, you know, fucking stupid ass girls came a little later. <laughs> oh my God, he took my plate. Like, yeah, dumb bitch. Like, hold it. <laughs> so you we fucking to, did you that. Don't have to go into, and your girl like that, bro. Yeah, sorry, nah, bro. it's not my girl. <laughs> it, it was some girls. But yeah, dude, it, it was really nice. We did that. And then um, after we hit, we hit the casino. I lost. Mm. You guys like the casinos? I hate that shit, bro. I like it. Have we talked about this? Oh, I like. I you know, know, no, no, we haven't. You gotta be there with the right. The thing is, you gotta really be there with the right people and shit. Yeah, because you don't want to like low key like what, you went with your mom, no? Yeah, I went with my mom. Uh, that that's not the move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she, yeah, but she's like, yeah, she's. And then you go with somebody that doesn't like it. Like, I, mean, I, I just don't like it. I, yeah, I, like, I don't like the idea of that. I know if you, everyone's like, because those mindsets like. Be prepared to lose your money if you go here. Yeah, I don't like the idea of losing my fucking money. I'm just there for the drinks, bro. You know. I'm here to watch my homies. I'd rather, I'd rather, you know what I'd rather do? I'd rather watch soccer game and bet on that. Uh-huh. Oh, I like that. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, cool. I would rather much. Like, okay. If my homie puts a hundred. Like I'd rather lose a hundred bucks like that. And you enjoyed the we, game. We, we, and we, I enjoyed the game. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather you know don't gamble. If you're it, 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 it comes down to like the if you have fun doing the slots. Fuck. If no. you don't have fun doing that shit, then you're not gonna have fun betting. Like, no one. Yeah. Everyone yeah. wins on the slots, bro. Those like cigarettes. I know you, you like that you shit. Like blackjack and you do all the other shit. No, no. I only just. I've the only time I ever gambled is like I've only ever done. <laughs> I've, I've been done. Been. I've done the slots, but like the, you don't win shit. But like mm-hmm. roulette is honestly the move. Cause it's like easier. It's That's like true. okay, red or black. There's your chance, you know. Yeah. Or if you want to get more specific to try to win more money, you can. But you could play it safer and shit, and be like, oh, over the last fucking spins, there were five and five black in a row is bound to hit red. Yeah. You know, to me that seems like a lot more of your like. Okay, my odds are a little bit better. Well, bang you know? for your yeah. buck. That you're yeah. I, I like the slots. Okay, bingo. I, also, I won three hundred bucks that way, so I, mm. that went to Michael's tire. <laughs> Michael's tire. Yeah. And alignment. Yeah. I like the slots. I, like my girl told me, she said I, I kinda um I don't know my limit. Like I don't know when to stop. So it, it's it, not a red flag, Johnny. It, it's a problem. <laughs> so like I can see that. So um like for sure if I go again, I'm gonna like really like, you know, control myself. Cause it it's fun. It's fun. It's just like you feel that shit coming, dude. Like you know you're gonna win. Yeah. And that shit happened. I fucking bet my money and my girl's like, hey, you know what, like Go, uh, go, go, go on a machine. Here's a buck. I made eighty fucking dollars off that one dollar. It took a while, Damn. but but dude, I was literally fucking winning, okay. and and it went down to like I think twenty cents or no, like eighty cents. <laughs> and it, it Wait, from per bet, you but mean? from the dollar, uh, it went to like forty or fifty bucks, and uh, it went down to eighty cents. And I was like, uh, fuck, I might as well do one more game. I did one, and I. On that one game, I won forty bucks. That's literally, and you're it, literally listening to someone who has a gambling problem. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I, I would have did a, a a dollar and got eighty. I'm out. I'm, Guess like, what? I already won. Yeah, I'm and that's what you eight, should. I'm already eighty dollars up, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. out, bro. I want to make more. Quick, that's a problem. Yeah. So no, no, no. that's I, everybody there, though. That's everybody there. That's yeah. Everybody. That's why they're all that's losing. That's what I'm saying. You, you, the mentality that you had. This is fun. That like, you know, it's the, you're gonna win the next one. If you win, walk away. Don't bet more. Don't listen to what I just said. Because what I used to do back then is I would get some money and. Put some money away and then bet like all these singles. I'll bet the singles. Yeah. Now what I do is I'll bet single. Ah, I want to make more money. Yeah, I just did that. But in the end, we, we ended up taking like almost ninety bucks. So I've gotten lucky twice <clears throat> in my life. So one time we went. Uh, What's your girl? Meeting your girl? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so three. Gambling wise, three. Okay, three. So he like gambled one, on her. Once, I mean. One time I went. Uh, <laughs> She going what? He gonna pipe? Yeah, he took he a gonna pipe tonight? You guys think so? <laughs> I took a gamble. Huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. twenty bucks says he pipes. He looked that. He did good. He did good. Oh, now, for the first time, um, we were out in Fresno, and they were having some fucking horse races. Ugh. And I girl, already smell the cow shit. Nah, and, <laughs> and, and, and legit, I, I just put money like I think I put like twenty bucks on some random ass horse. Like I just picked it because like it looked cool in the picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was like it actually there cool. was probabilities. Like right, like they had oh, like shit. poster boards, uh, okay. and like that horse had the worst probability. Oh. And I was like, I want to go with that of one. Of course, of Fuck. course, yeah, the yeah. dolphins. Fan. But it was in my money. Like it was my dad gave me like this 20. isn't Sea Biscuit. My dad gave me like twenty <laughs> bucks, and yeah. and he was like. Pick whatever horse you fucking want, mm. and I put the money on it, and I ended up winning him fucking like four hundred dollars. It's the fewest odds. It's the fewest odds. Yeah, right? the fucking when the horse was coming in at the the last stretch, I was like, "Go, motherfucker, go!" <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. that fool wanted. I was like, "Turn me up." Your dad's and like, "Thanks." Yeah, and then the second time, I gambled it somewhere same else. Same shit. I gambled my dad's money at, at a casino, and yeah. I want him like his money back because he had lost like two hundred and fifty, and I just want it back for him. Like, <laughs> like the last 20 bucks mm-hmm. But then we were like Cash that shit out We're bouncing Like I, you said I, I can see why people would do the I, I see like the thing like You went in with a dollar You got 80 This is 87 dollars I didn't have yeah. already So let's, let's just gamble <clears throat> I didn't have this money anyway Yeah so I'm just gonna gamble. I see why they would do that But again 
Because it's just fun. I, like, if you have it fun, is fun, if you have fun playing with the games, then you're going to have fun. If yeah. you don't have fun, then you're not going to have fun. Yeah, if you're just doing it for the money, that's yeah, way. If you're doing well, it for the money, know. then. Huh. Well, let's just say there's a reason why there's no ba- open balconies in Vegas. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, motherfuckers are true. jumping off that shit stressed, bro. Dude. Yeah. Like, like, I knew this one lady. She, well, this girl who works at a, she used to work at a casino. Mm-hmm. Mm. She didn't specify which one, but she said that there was this lady <laughs> that she literally lost her house, her car. All her money, all her savings and shit, Damn nothing man. to match. She was like, she went up to her. She's like, I guess she was working security. She's like, like I need you to arrest me, like, cause like I'm not going home basically. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah. she's like, my husband's gonna fucking kill me. And it was she was like, what the fuck? Like she's like, I'm not gonna do that. And she never found out what happens to the lady. But you mad? Like that's why they have that shit locked in yeah. Vegas. Like you can't look out the windows and shit because mm. they're scared people will jump out. Because it's yeah. happened before. Because you can bet anything, yeah. yeah. It's a big worth it. I remember one time. Stop by Circus Circus. I'm, 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 I remember the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I left the casino, and I seen this dude just by the steps on the on the parking lot. And he was like this. That dude Fuck. fucked up bad. He's either, he either fucked up or he's about to write the craziest. Yeah. I didn't know he was dating my girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. fuck, dude, that sucks. That's crazy. So if you have a problem, don't do it. DJ Khaled always has his head down in the albums. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> down bad. But how was your guys' weekend? You guys did something, right? You guys filmed the, the video, right? Food. We didn't film oh, yeah. the video, we didn't, Yeah, we didn't film it, but we did film. Uh, we, we damn sure yeah. dropped it, you though. We sure dropped it, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what we did. Dreamcatch is right now is available on all platforms. Go and now visuals, right visuals right are available now on YouTube. Shout out to Jonathan and Lalo for actually helping a lot with hey, this. It better be moving when I'm... I should write it. <laughs> you better be tracked with my finger. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1 a.m. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. The podcast yeah. needs to be up. Yeah. <laughs> Just track it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah Thanks for giving me the shout out, bro. Oh, yeah. I, forgot on the to do it. Or anything, I didn't do it on the post because okay. you put eh. So I was like... <laughs> True. I was like, so eh. eh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to put yeah. it on the... Nah, but I forgot. I genuinely forgot that. Yeah, I was like, also, he probably doesn't want it. I don't. <laughs> I don't. So, <laughs> it's cool. you know, shout out to Lalo, like though, for helping there. out, holding the speaker and yeah. shit. It's and you know, just being a, I hate that taking time. all the photos behind the scenes and <clears throat> yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but we filmed this video right no there. No credit on that either, bro. That's crazy. Right here in Fontana on Sierra. On the, yeah. You wouldn't believe it, but that's actually all in one place. You know? <laughs> yeah. I believe yeah. it. Yeah, I thought if you know Fontana, yeah, you, you, <laughs> yeah, but you, you don't know, know place, but if you don't know, it looked cool. It looked like different spots. I like, I liked it. It was yeah. sick. All one spot though. All one shit. spot. Yeah, yeah. Say. So I mean, that was a cool <clears throat> experience and shit. Just dropped and um, yeah. Thank you for the support that you guys have given us. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate me, that. But nah. I, I, I honestly do. A lot of people that I follow that have followed me just because of the podcast, they were posting your stuff too. I was like, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see it because you yeah. attacked me. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah. thanks though. Yo, yeah, somebody's gonna see it. So first and foremost. Congrats on the video. Thank you. It's amazing. Yep. Good shit to Gazelle. Cause that fucking video was crazy. I like oh, the yeah. I like did such a great job. I like the color correction. Yeah. I, I might not even pay him for it. That's how much I That's all I know. Exposure. Yeah. Cool. I might not even yeah, pay him for it. That's how <laughs> great yeah. I think it looks, yeah. bro. I, I, I just think, I appreciate think it for a value. Just a shout out enough on his profile, I think is enough for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, exposure. Yeah, that's what you're trying to do. That's all that's not what it's about. Did, not only did you fix <coughs> his exposure, but you got some out of it too. You know me, I like to help small businesses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like, and like real quick, that. I just wanted to ask you like just a quick question about Be- that. Before like, that, before you get to that. What? <laughs> what? Before before you get to that, I was gonna say people who uh shout out the podcast, if you have your shit private, we can't and then for it's not only for the podcast, but people who share his music. Yeah. If you have your shit private, it, it doesn't show us. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It doesn't like notify us. Yeah. Notify us. It doesn't show sorry, us. Sorry. So unless yeah. we follow so, you, so it's sorry. not a diss. So like, if you can make it public, uh, if you got a weird act, stay on my request. If you got a weird act, <laughs> so, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's weird awesome. though, because some some do pop up. It is DMs, weird, but it, it's not a hundred percent. Yeah, and we can't tag you back. I think because you could also have private on stories and then private on your profile. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah. weird. Is that what it is? It's yeah. stupid. Yeah. So oh, okay, so yeah, if you guys have private stories and yeah, yeah. So if you're hiding from your ex, your stories and all that shit, just block. You could have them blocked you and block them, yeah. and then like yeah. Yeah. Sorry, on the yeah. story, you, you can hide from <laughs> close friends. <laughs> and then, like, yeah. It's three people. So if, if you guys have shared the podcast and we probably yeah, we see it yet. because of that private yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so you're, gonna, you know. you're gonna ask. Him. Um, yeah, I don't want to ask you about the song. Like, what was kind of your inspiration, or like, what kind of media for the title, or like the. The subject of it, me, myself, and I. Oh, nah, I'm just right. <laughs> yeah. well, the thing I'm was done. that this song was supposed to drop like fucking a long time ago. It was supposed to drop in November. Okay, but like I, for some reason, I just never wanted to because I don't know. I just was already. I had just finished like thought of the thought project, and I was like, "Fuck, like I'm busy," you know. And then on top yeah. of that, music doesn't do well in what's called the fourth quarter of the year. Like it just doesn't do well. You know, there's only okay. a few people that could do that and pull it off. But, nah, I mean, right, the, I mean, other, no other inspiration other than fucking 
I guess what do you mean like artists? Like, you no, mean, no, like like, uh, like what was a it? topic or like the, the what was the inspiration the of, of the topic of the of the uh, video or like the name? It was me flexing my bars. It was me flexing, honestly. It was me showing like, hey, I got fucking bars. I could spit in different. I could show you these double entendres and this wordplay that mm-hmm. you know other people aren't fucking doing. If I'm being honest with you, and on top of that, like <coughs> talk your shit, little mama. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, and it, it was just that. It was just flexing my muscles, showing people also that I got better and that. Yeah. Cause I feel like a lot of my past projects were like themed, they were theme based, mm-hmm. and I kind of didn't like that. Cause then afterwards it kind of put me in a box of like, okay, like it's all, it's all like, now. yeah, all you do is like you're gonna make a Halloween song, and right, now you're gonna do what an Easter song or what, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, so it was like different, yeah. So it was like, now nah, I want to flex now, and I don't want to show that I could do something. So, and that's what all I've been doing is writing songs like, like in that format in my head, like oh, mm-hmm. like I'm flexing now. I'm gonna fucking flex how. Great I am, you know. And they're hard, by the way. I've, I've heard a couple of them. Yeah. They're not done. Yeah. He spit them to me. They're like, you know, if, if you know what that means, you know what that means. But other than that, I, I've heard them. Yeah. <laughs> he spit on me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're sick. Uh, um, I'm excited for them. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to do right like, now. it's not easy to do like wordplay and stuff. Like, that actually is not fucking easy at all. Yeah. Y'all see me. I never fucking rap on this bitch. Facts. Like, it's not easy to just not only do a rap, but fucking do wordplay. Like, mm-hmm. that's just stuff. And it's crazy when you hear a song and you're like, even Gazelle has a caught on to some some shit he said. Like you hear for so long, and then you hear an artist, and you'll hear it, and you're like, "Oh shit!" Like I didn't catch this before. Yeah. That's what I think is cool about fucking like you know songs and shit. Yeah, and then <coughs> well, Lil Wayne. Also, like there's a lot of people I know. I know a bunch of rappers, bro. A bunch of rappers, and honestly, like a lot of these foods have like a is this mentality of kind of like look at how fast I can write this fucking verse, and it's like. But it's all very simple face level shit, you know. It's not. You get it? You fuck the bitch, bro. Yeah, bro. I fuck your bitch in the click you claim. <laughs> so I can, I'm, yeah, but you know what? Bitches be fucking you over, just like Johnny Depp. Not like. <laughs> Crazy, you know, uh, yeah, yeah no. I mean, who has a scoop on that? You didn't do anything, right? I didn't do anything. No, we can. That's what we did. You want to say anything about the project? Anything? Uh, yeah, well, well, that if anything, that's something that I did last weekend was just fucking edit. <laughs> 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 He uh, left from here, bro. He missed the most. I just like it, bro. Like I, I just like being part of it because I feel like every single time, I, I, I know where I'm at and I know where I want to be at and I want to like shoot for that and I know that right now I'm not making the videos that I would like to make, you know. So shout out lyrical, yeah. So <laughs> so it's just cool to like. I mean, my homies are always like. Cause they know, like they know, like they this shit they can. I mean, David can go and hire somebody who's like way better. He could. Facts, facts. facts. Yeah, but uh, but he's. I'm like, like, I don't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> but he puts the, he's like, nah. Like I would rather grow with my homies, and then I feel like every. I'm not kidding you. Every project, I feel like there's little tweaks that you people may not notice, but I notice. Where I'm like, oh, I improved in this. You know, maybe I didn't fucking That's overexpose cool. the shot, That's or good maybe feeling. I didn't. You know, I didn't blow out the highlights or, like, just, like, the nerdy shit. Like, I'm always, like, I'm getting better in, like, the technical aspects. And I, I don't know. Like, I, that's cool, man. Like, I just want to keep working more and more and more and more. And then until like, till I get to a point where I'm, like, all right, I'm satisfied. Because everything that I have ever done, I'm always, like, all right, it looks like shit. Yeah. Or this is shit, you know? You're rough on yourself, man. And But, yeah. like, that's just, like, my, I no, don't know. No, he's right. No, like, <laughs> no, but, like, this is his best video, like, to date. Sorry to interrupt you. Not but. This is your best video, I think, like, visually in terms of how things look. Like, it looks the best, I think, that it is. It's between that and Thought Honesty. And you can yeah. tell the progressive, like, how the progression that he's making and shit. Like, this will fucking stuns me every time he fucking films. Like, gets behind the camera and like, he shows me the finished product. And because I, in my head, as he's recording it, I'm thinking about what the visual is going to look like. But I can't see it because I'm me. You know, I'm... I'm me, bro. <laughs> by the, by the way, and I don't want to take, and I don't want to take any credit, but I think it has to do with them him yeah. finally getting with some real people, real production, All and right, being part of a good yeah, team. Yeah. Bro, I remember and, uh, when Daisy uh, got hit by that car and uh, that Versa did not stop. <laughs> All right, came a long uh, way, bro. No, but I feel like I, I do feel like it, this has helped him in a sense of like um due practice, date, due dates, experience, due dates, mm-hmm. and enough repetition where like you learn to like true. You cut in different ways. Like it's, you've had you have videos, but they would come out like. When you were, whenever the fuck you wanted to record something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where this one's like, now it's it was in week, school. Now, now I know, yeah, but, due dates. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying right here, now it's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how fucking shitty he thinks it is, because I know he still looks at it. It's like, looks like shit. But now it's like, but I gotta be up. Yeah, It's yeah, not like, there's yeah. no time to tweak it to like perfection. Yeah, I'm sure he gets yeah. it to like where he likes it, but it's not where he would 
if he had all the, all the hours in the day to actually get together and do it, because he still has his job, you know? Yeah. So it's like, he doesn't have time to just do that. He has time, enough time to, like, make it, like, rough cut it and then cut it up again. Then, like, all right, cool. Which still is better than a lot of other fucking, yeah. you know, other visual podcasts. Because to us, it looks of great. big people yeah. who don't hire other people who just throw cameras in there and give y'all some shit quality shit, which kind of sucks because I consume some of that shit quality, too. And I'm like, bro, you have the money to fucking get a team that will do this shit right. And you give all those millions of people, yes, millions of people, this shit to watch, bro. And it's sad. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, like, we we just have Gazelle. And it's yeah. better than some of the fucking top people. Yeah, you know? that's true. And it's like, and I feel like some people should actually look into that. Uh, in the uh, sense of some like, people are careless. But then again, like, if that's their brand, like, they don't give a fuck. They yeah. Whatever, you know. Yeah. Kudos to you, you're getting millions of views. That's what they but think. Like, for, me, for me, it's always like. I mean, the the better, like, I mean, you guys will see this. Like, with the years, this shit's only going to get better. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're literally just strengthening that muscle. Every, like, every single time we hop in here, it's easier to have a conversation with you guys. Mm-hmm. It's easier to fucking record this shit. Remember the first time we recorded, like, how long it fucking took for us to, like, set everything up and... You know, like especially when you bought that fucking sun over there. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was like three hours to set up. But that's my favorite part about all this shit is like I feel like everybody's finding their like their voice. Like every like every single person in here knows like what they bring to the table, you know? Yeah. So, everything. <laughs> like well, Lalo's case, even yeah. location, yeah. <laughs> location, small shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what's fun about this shit. Like you guys are gonna see us grow, and then like. Later, when this shit's way bigger, you'll be the first people to be like, "Oh yeah, I was there from the yeah, beginning." I was riding the yeah. cock since the beginning. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. Hell yeah! Shout out to all you motherfuckers. Yeah. Appreciate you. Guys. I imagine that's like how Bad Bunny felt and shit. You know? Yeah. You know, right. think about that. That fool was like a small artist, like yeah. And PR, and then now he's like a fucking. Huge. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say it because they say I can't roll my R's. <laughs> <laughs> Puerto Rico. There you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I could do it, but they say I don't. I don't emphasize that. That's all bad. That's yeah, all bad. Think about that though. Like that fool was a fucking small artist in PR. And then <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. And then now he's like fucking a re- he wrestling in the WWE yeah. and shit. The funny like the thing about that though is that those motherfuckers don't even roll their R's. Yeah. They say Puerto Rico. Yeah. <laughs> no bullshit. Uh. Oh yeah, Puerto Rico, yeah, mi Puerto hermano. Rico. They don't yeah. get shit for it though, because they're not Mexican. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexicans here. Yeah. Assholes, bro. Yeah. Cause I think Mexicans probably speak the closest to proper Spaniard Spanish. I think yeah. that's why. Hostia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They get real like so they get real in their feels about Tapas. all that. Mm-hmm. That's not how you say it. It's a it's vosotros. They don't know mm-hmm. when uses that shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean that's how I'm at. I mean. Did you guys hear that fucking Bad Bunny is gonna be like a, a Marvel superhero now? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's I, wild. It's a, it's a Mexican luchador, bro. I don't know yeah, about yeah. that shit. Yeah, I mean, it's, sick. It's, it's gonna be sick, bro. I mean, it's tight for him because I mean he does wrestle, right? Yeah, yeah. like he does. He is. Well, part I think of that's the, what he thought he, of it. Part of the WWE, they thought about it because of the cloud. They're not fucking stupid. They know what he. Brings I mean, to yeah, the table. of course. Yeah, I mean, fucking he he. he oh, this dude no, poses, poses his hand like this with like yeah, I don't know if he wears rings or anything, but he puts his hand like this on the ground for get to. Five million likes. Yeah, like yeah, the guy, yeah. the, the guy, the guy, the dumb mess with the girls, bro. And he's, they know that he's international. And it's crazy because he literally went from fucking artist to saying he's retiring, mm. and then he did the whole WWE, the whole like wrestling thing. Because mm. I know he said it. I saw him talk about it a while back. That that was his dream. He really wanted to do that, but he did music instead. So he chased that and he did it, and then now he's fucking doing movies. So mm. and I know he came on Narcos too. Yeah, well, I was jumping bit. off the couches yeah. at six. Like, yeah. come on, I'm made for this shit. I'm ready. Yeah, on, me give too. me a shot, WWE. Come yeah. on, it's like it. It really go, goes to show that if you really want something, you can fucking manifest that shit. Like, whatever you set your mind to, that's yeah. fucking sick, dude. So, who's hiring him for this? Is it a movie? It's Marvel. It's Marvel, dude. Yeah. Marvel's hiring. Yeah, him. Uh, it's just Spider Man, right? So it's gonna be a yeah, Lucha Blood movie. It's gonna be like he's gonna be one of the the, the, the ta- 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 like antagonists. side characters. Uh, well, I think he's one of the side characters. Yeah. yeah, I'm not really like one of a. I'm not. I'm not cut up like that. In, like the comics and stuff. Yeah, no, I'm not sure if they've they've really mentioned too much about but, it. Because yeah, I know it came out of comics and he's Mexican. And that's the problem some people were having. Where it's like, yeah, okay. What are your yeah. thoughts on Mex- I'm I'm in the same boat. It's cool. Like in the same way, like you could have went and go got like Dead Bears and shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> and like I'm sure, I'm sure that they're gonna say like <laughs> you, you guys could have got like a real wrestler, but yeah. I mean he's done wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Ray Mysterio's right Black. there, they dog. Yeah. Sorry, so I'm sure Mysterio. some people say they could have got Ramses, bro. I don't yeah. know. Rest in peace. He's the best. He's never one. <laughs> His pencil's never two. <laughs> but I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. It's Wait, so. What are people mad about that? He's not Mexican. Like stereotype. Oh, that bad boy. But he's not Mexican. Uh, so you could have went and go grab the, you know, an actual Mexican to play the role, yeah, which is which is cool. 
but I mean, yeah, yeah but, bro, we're still but, getting represented. Uh, take, take what you can get, fool. Like, yeah. honestly, like, but I am in the boat, or like, for right now, yeah. a Mexican, but also, is that, I mean, what was what, what we were talking about? Like, if you hire uh, someone who's in a wheelchair, not really, mm-hmm. like, yeah, 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 but it's yeah. not really but acting it's, the role, you know, it's acting. Who gives a fuck? It is, and if you can pull it off, day, like, if, if you're if it's in front of a camera and it's made up and there's a Mexican flag behind him and he's in his room, you know, like. That makes him Mexican in the movie. Like yeah. you're playing a character. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm yeah. I, think, I, mean, is, I like, guess people are thinking fuck. because you know how Disney's kind of woke as fuck, so it's all about re- representation, and you're only representing like you're saying basically all Latinos could be Mexican. Basically, I think that's what they're trying to get at. It's yeah. like you're saying like, oh, you're bunching us all in, like, oh, okay, and trying to say like, oh, but but it's a Mexican superhero, but you know, so also, like but you're trying to you're trying to just oh like, yeah, he's brown, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah, but also Disney doesn't pay those families that they take the stories from, yeah, 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 but so, like, yeah! but like, <laughs> well, okay. like the thing that Gazelle said, like your acting is not like on on a, on a Schwarzenegger, he fucking pulled up and wanted to be a fucking robot, like I'll say it again, like you, <laughs> what you wanted to get a real fucking cyborg or what, like <laughs> like they're playing a part, oh, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Be like like Will Smith, he fucking did the what is it the tennis one? Got was some, it? Smack called? Chris Rock. Like he, 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 what, what the fuck you want him to do? You could have got a real tennis player. Okay, like they're yeah. actors for a reason, not players. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. one I'm, thing's I'm, a role, I'm, I'm and then one thing's an ethnicity. Like yeah. you're trying exactly. I'm excited so. to see if because people say that, I guess it already came, like a voice of him already came out, or in the comics they they had said that he had a strong accent. So I'm I, I am curious to see if. Bad Bunny's gonna like emphasize on that, yeah. like you know, emphasize because he has the body structure for it, right? Like mm-hmm. the guy's yeah. working out. He he actually takes WWE very fucking yeah, seriously. Does, like they have given him credit. Like the wrestlers, like they they know the people who come, the celebrities that come over and yeah. do wrestling for a little bit to get their little hype up. But they're like, they're, they're, if you look at their interviews for Bad Bunny, like nah, that motherfucker's in here training with. Damn, so w- WWE's been getting their fucking bread, huh? Like, yeah, they, they, they got like, Logan Paul too. Yeah, they sell yeah, merch out like Pat they, McAfee. They, they, they know where it is. Damn, Pat McAfee, they're yeah. killing it. Hell yeah, yeah that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Why didn't they pay Mac, Pat McAfee, dog? They didn't pay him. What? No, no, they should choose Pat uh, McAfee for the movie. Mm. That'd yeah, be yeah. dope. Yeah, well, I'm actually gonna try. Why do? Yeah, why do Pat McAfee? Look, look, motherfucker. I, like why are you just, uh, You know what it is can, can we be honest For a second Like I don't think The majority of people Are pressed I think It's just a small minority Too small You know yeah. Who are like Fucking annoying It's Twitter It's just Yeah it's, Bro Twitter is such Bullshit bro like, I, I can't even Fucking open the app anymore Cause like if People are just I saw like a video Of like puppies And people were arguing In the comments bro Yeah About stupid. like what dog Is better and shit And I'm just like Damn you motherfuckers are, do. <laughs> are, yeah, like you give a fuck they're fucking they, you just, just want to fight. But like going back to that point, like um one of our favorite movies of all time, us, like all his homies that brings us together as homies yeah. is Nacho Libre. I am I am. I am I am Jack Black is not fucking Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> that no. shit makes me laugh every no. time. And he did a great fucking <laughs> job. Yeah, the yeah, funniest yeah. fucking yeah. movie. And ever. it surprised you. Yeah. Who gives a shit, bro? At the yeah. end of the day, like it was it's it's you're playing a role. I get it, like representation, but you know where it, you know where it makes sense for me? It makes sense for me in like children's movies or like characters like Moana and and that type of shit because yeah you hear like when you're a little kid and they're they look up to these princesses and they're all white and you understand yeah. that yeah, right like true. they don't see anybody that looks like them I get that but when you're a fucking grown adult and you're complaining about a luchador character mm-hmm. so you guys can't be on Twitter is that what you're saying no, I mean I can't be on it because that's where you see most of that Twitter. shit if we're being honest mm-hmm. like it's Twitter it's like on Instagram no one gives a fuck you know Facebook it's <laughs> It's, it's just yeah. annoying because you can, like he said, yeah. you can literally go on a dog video and it's just dogs running around. And somebody will come and be like, reminds me of a liberal. Who the fuck <laughs> is talking about fucking yeah. politics, yeah, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's true. annoying as fuck. Like, people make oh, it their personality. Well, like, like actually, politics. that that brings up the most recent shit that's been going on on Twitter. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this, but some girl blew up. I, I can't remember if it was TikTok or Instagram. It was one of those. Where you could share videos, right? It might have been mm. Twitter. Mm. But the girls are singing along to, I believe, there's two different videos. It's a white girl, and she has, like, a bullet in her hand, and she has, like, a vape in the other. And she's, like, word for word. Oh, yeah, I like saw that. King Von's song. No, Lil Take Baby. Take it to the, oh. And then and then she has the other one with, uh, I think, Lil Baby, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. She, so there's two separate videos. And she blew the fuck up because it, like, yeah. like it's just, 
A white girl knows. It's, it's a white music, girl that yeah. knows like some songs that you wouldn't think she knows, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like when we see like a black mariachi guy and he's like playing the fuck or he's like singing mariachi. El compa yeah. negro and or, or a white guy. Yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah. badass. And you're like, <laughs> you're just like, oh, this is like new. Like it's something that you don't expect. So that's why the girl blew up. But on Twitter, I thought this was a positive thing. I was like, oh, that's cool. Mm. I saw I had saw, seen it on TikTok. I was like, oh, that's cool. Liked it. Later, like I, when I jumped on Twitter, people were fighting about it. Yeah, in the comments yeah. they were what like, about? "She's trying were, or some shit." No, yeah. but like a lot of black people were upset. Were like, "Oh, you guys don't blow up other black people when they recite these lyrics." Ah, that's you know, but, but they don't support black people either. Like other Latinos are trying to drag other Latinos, but then they say he's not Mexican. Okay, but when a Mexican artist blows up, he's trying too hard. Like you guys are never fucking happy. You could kiss my ass. Like, yeah, it's it, fucking it, annoying. It's, <laughs> it's not even that. It's like that's not the punchline. The punchline is she shouldn't know the lyrics. To this, and now, it's crazy. So that that's that's the punchline. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes things blow up because of yeah. the punchline. Yeah. So like when you look at it like that, it's like okay, what where would be the punchline if someone who like is African American is already fucking saying the lyrics to a fucking like, song? Oh, like, like he should. It's cool. Like whatever. Like they're not gonna blow it up. So yeah. shut the fuck up. Like because it's not different. That's the point. That's what makes it. That's what it makes the punchline. It does. I mean, that's you know the expectation. Yeah. Uh, what was the artist name? The, 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 song uh, the one of them was a King Von, and I think the other video was I think it was Lil, Lil Baby. Baby. King, King, Lil Baby. King Von, uh, King Von oh, was hard. Yeah, and, and Lil, Lil, the, the motherfuckers are living it up, though. I'm one on one by People keep watching that video. The, the, yeah, it's their song that goes up. Rest in peace, King Von. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But no, but I mean, look, I get it. Like, from one side, I do get it. From like the black people who are upset, we're like, y'all motherfuckers don't even support our own people. Like, right? Yeah. Why are you guys blowing this 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 girl up? That's their point, right? That's like yeah. their point, and that's uh, yeah. fucking valid, bro. Uh, that's valid. Yeah. What what sucks is that she's getting criticism for what? Like it's uh, not her okay. fault. So you want her to not fuck with your music, then? Yeah, it, like so it, it makes make sense, bro. And, like it's it's just it's a trick. It's like a slippery slope, right? But I mean, Long Beach Griffey said it best. He tweeted, he was like, Fuck, dude, I he, love that guy. He, so he's a black comedian. I don't know if you've yeah. ever seen him. He's on. He's huge. He's Long huge. Beach Griffey. Heard of him. He tweeted, I'm a big comedian. He said. Y'all want white people to stay out of black people's business, but the minute they, they even when she was staying out of black people's business, you, st- you guys still got upset. Yeah. And he's just calling out like his own his yeah. own people, right? Sure. And not to say that it's the majority. I mean, like yeah. I just keep saying like, it's like the loud minority. I'm pretty sure most black people are just like that's cool. fucking cool. Yeah, like, that's she like knows the fucking the, white she knows girl. Every yeah. fucking lyric, like she's invited to the cookout. Like yeah. you know, those, yeah, those, I saw that a lot. Yeah, same shit like with us when we're like they're invited to the carnasada. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, but. And it, but going back to the initial points, like Twitter's just upsetting, bro. Like mm, yeah. it, it's just upsetting because everything people are just arguing and it's everything stupid as for fuck. everything. Well, do you? Let me ask you guys a question. Do you think that's going to change if Elon buys Twitter? Mm. Like you know, he's in the talks about buying it for I don't know, a fucking gajillion dollars or some yeah, shit. Like Ridiculous amount. It, yeah. it doesn't even billion, matter. Yeah. I think I saw a fucking uh, a deal with, like a TikTok. I don't know. I take it, everything I see on TikTok is like yeah. Yeah, that's valid information. <laughs> well, <they're, laughs> that's valid like, source. That's if you source. were to save, they were like, if you would save, like I think it was like a hundred dollars for you know every day since the pyramids were built, you'd only have like fifteen percent of what Elon Musk has. Which is fucking ridiculous. You still be in the billions, but yeah. you don't have fifteen. You only have like sixteen point nine billion dollars, right? Shoot it. With Elon buying Twitter for let me see, what does it say? Forty four, forty four, forty four, forty four point you, some you billion. You put a gajillion. Wait, but it's forty four, yeah. forty four point. I think he already bought it. Yeah, he did buy. It. He did. Yeah, buy it. he did. Buy it. Well, well there's sure. like a I, there's a debate that they kind of want to pull out from it. They say so. Oh. Maybe it's, maybe they're thinking about saying. Here's that, my never thing. mind. Here's my thing. If a company is willing to sell out. Like, because everyone talks about the fucking, like, oh, like, you're going to be, in, like, validating so much hate speech is going to happen, you know? But if we're being honest, that just shows to you that Twitter only fucking catered to one side. Because as soon as the money was high enough, they went, we're out of here. Yeah. So you don't care about the people's free speech that much, honestly. Yeah. Because, honestly, if you did and you were actually worried about what Elon might do with the money to buy Twitter and stuff, then you'd be like, no, that doesn't matter. I'm turning, we're turning down the amount. Like, and Twitter's not for sale. Yeah, but and for some reason, enough money like it was, you know. I mean, forty-four billion. Yeah, I'll fuck with the world. That's, fucking that's, so much that's the cap that all these organizations are running. That they care. They don't care. They don't. They don't give a like fuck. Like Chris Leo says it best. He's like, all they give a fuck about is about racks. The stacks. If, if they're making racks, they don't care. So they try to pretend like, oh, we love you. Yeah, yo, like, we're kidding to the be, left. Yeah, we're but, inclusive. Yeah. Hey, Mayo, you know, we like, love you guys. Like, <laughs> Stupid. It's Today's stupid. National Taco Day. <laughs> like, it, I, you're it's right. All cap. They're just making. It's like when when TikTok like was um 
did the whole thing about like during the thing. What is it? When's uh Black History Month? February. February. My God. Like, bro. On TikTok, they, they, they tried taking down this episode. <laughs> but like they they really try to push uh like black creators right on the yeah. FYP and everything, which is cool. Like it's a good thing. But y'all didn't do but that. In, on the, in the reality of the situation, is like they don't really give a fuck because if they did, they would just push black creators year round. Yeah. Not just. Like KFC, that, you know? KFC, and like never said Wait, shit. Where are you going? Hold up, <laughs> Wait, hold up, hey. hold up. Where are you going hey, with check this? Check the cameras again, please. Hold it's, up, it's finger looking good. <laughs> like <laughs> KFC, <laughs> same thing. Like you never see them do any of that shit on their social media. And then the whole like Black Lives Matter thing, they, they came out and they put a, a piece of chicken and it was a fist in the background, like a shadow of a fist. Oh right, right, it's right. It's like we're with yeah, you, they don't give but a it's fuck. like yeah, they don't give a fuck. I have yet to see anything else from KFC. Same thing as like Twitter. Like mm-hmm. you don't see anything else except when it's that like special holiday. Like you're free. They, they didn't care, bro. They it's really just, don't it's give a businesses fuck. Businesses taking opportunity, and we're gonna do the same thing too. By the way, when holidays come, we're gonna drop merch with holidays. You know I mean? And it's like it's not because I give a fuck about Christmas, even though I really at do. a smaller scale. You know, on a small, yeah, I care but, about but, you know sales. Saying? It's to that thing it, when, when we turn up the set to Christmassy. It's like that's the vibe right now. Like, like that's like the thing. So like it's gonna, obviously it's gonna like oh they have like a new set, a new design, whatever you know. Yeah. It's like in, to the, in the little scale, it's, it's the same shit. We're doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like but but our shit ain't for sale though. Yeah, unless you're offering yeah. 44 point billion. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I'll eat. <laughs> you know what? That, that we can eat, and I, I could feed. Yeah. all you that watch. Yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah, and then y'all can leave with us to a different thing. DJ <laughs> Tana Mommy Mary's dropping yeah. soon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. But, that's what I'm saying, bro. So then, what do you think anything is gonna change with Elon? You know, he's saying he's gonna do all these things and I incorporate. So. I, I, like, I think more freedom. Hope. You hope so, but I want to hear that aspect though, real yeah, quick. Because people were saying shit like, um, he's gonna do all this shit like for like genders and like stuff like. Cause you know, Twitter's all about that. Apparently, it's like I'm not saying that it's like I'm fed up, but it's like they're like again, they're they're making it up. Like, oh, we love the LGBTQ community when their month comes. You know, that's just the same yeah. thing. With like, we yeah. love Hispanics in May, Cinco de Mayo, even though it's not the day. But you know, you know, yeah. it's like it's like that thing, right? And so people are like, oh, they're gonna get rid of. It. It's not like he's it's not Elon's gonna come in there and be like that whole department that w- works at. Get out of here! Yeah. Yeah, Everybody's getting like, Teslas. Yeah, yeah. He's not like, he's not like <laughs> put put a bunch of whites in here. You know, he's not gonna do that. Yeah. People, but people like jump to those conclusions that he's gonna do that shit. I just think he's gonna do like the whole. You're not gonna get banned over like to actually speaking your truth, right? Like how Trump got banned because he was saying all that shit. I guess. Yeah. Even it'll look at me. Like, oh, he's gonna bring him but, back. But you know what I'm saying? But people, are, they're just gonna like. He says he's not it, going on Twitter, by the way. I know, because he has his own pretty, shit. He, yeah. has, he has, what is this shit called? The Truth? I don't tr- truth, um, That's truth what Talk says, or yeah. some shit? Dude, they, the they're starting their own shit. I forget what they start. It's literally on social media, and all the all the Trumpies are on there already, bro. Yeah. Literally, if you go there, it's just a bunch of Trumpies. That Trump but, chain fell off, though. Yeah, really. no, it's still strong. It still yeah, has, it's like, strong, strong as fuck. The yeah. rallies are still getting packed. So, like they are. So, yeah. so, WWE looks that same way too, and it's not, you know? Camera angles. Yeah, camera angles. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, like that. Uh, I'm excited to see what was going to happen because Loki, like, Twitter used to be fucking hella fun. Just wow, memes, West, and, right? memes right. and hella fun. No, it's just country. Because you could say some stupid ass shit and get away with it. Like, nowadays, you really can't. Like, you can say some shit to, uh, as, like, a small person, no one gives a shit about you. But even then, like, your word, like, if it's too sensitive or it's too graphic, I think they flag it, like, right away. Like, well, so if you fuck, fuck with the wrong person who fucking finds your IP address and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole other yeah. shit, too, bro. But, like, you know, you can still say some dumb shit, like, Fucked up funny shit and it's like those those tweets that come up from comedians from like a long time ago. They and like they, they were saying some shit about like yeah like some shit about like a baby like and like fucking it or whatever. It's like it's like a joke that it's from a long time ago when Twitter was that when we could you could say some that was you the could atmosphere. Li- literally just who just can think of the, the craziest shit. shit and like make everybody laugh. That's the shit and people go back like oh look look at this. Look, it's the whole cancel culture thing too mostly. And then we'll go like, oh, look at that. It's like, bro, that was the time, though. Like, it's fucked up. It's what they said is, like, fucked up, but it is the, it's not literal. They're not really doing that shit. I, I guess all, all we can do right now is just hope for the best and just hope that Elon Dusk, you know, goes in the right way if he stays with Twitter. Let's call him uh, Elon Dusk. Elon Dusk? No, Elon Musk. Like, no. like <laughs> Elon Dusk to Like, land. hopefully, um, <laughs> you know, he goes, to the, he goes to the right way and just does something good because that's all we can hope for. Nah, yeah. well, look, the, people are going to fucking fight regardless. Like, that's just social media in general, right? I'm a lover now. What, what, he's ho- what people are hoping for, which I agree with, is, like, Twitter has like shifted super alt left, and that's not even means left. That means like crazy. Yeah, like, it's so, it's so left that like that there's like no right. there's no the other side doesn't exist. And if and if we're being honest, like and, and that's coming from a liberal myself. I don't know what other people believe in, but 
I say I'm more of a centrist, but the definitely Lord. I definitely lean more towards left, right? Because I I believe in like abortions and shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> nah, I I do believe it. I I do believe you it believe that they shouldn't. Pro, no, pro choice, pro choice. Okay. And we killed it as a music video. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I believe you should have the choice to do what the fuck you want. Go okay, <laughs> kill, kill your motherfucker. That's wrong. I, I mean, look, even if shit it's is life. hate speech, if we're being honest, even if shit is hate speech. You're still entitled to say whatever the fuck. You yeah, want to say. and that's the thing where like Twitter has gone so far alt left that they don't they're not allowing the opinions of others to be held on the platform, which they is get, stupid. They just get bad, stupid. and like this is what people don't understand, bro. Like, tell me, a- including like people that are close to me that I know, and they're like they lean super one sided, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm like, you people don't understand. Like, if you don't, there's not a balance between both fucking sides, then we start getting into. What we situate, are now. yeah. Where we are now, where it's like it's too far to one side that there's not a balance, you know. And for, in order for this country to succeed and just, and there needs to be a balance, mm-hmm. you know. So I, at least in Twitter, even mm-hmm. though it's such a, such a smaller scale, if we can start there, hopefully, like our country gets better too. You know, start yeah. start start a start the conversation, right? That's that's what they say, right? Like, oh, start let's just start that conversation. Honestly. That's what it is, a conversation. But now everything's just a debate. I honestly you don't just, even you, see you, the point of Twitter. Just, you're just holding off your your stance, yeah. Like it's fine. Just like can I have like how you said a balance of both, and just kind of just have both. And if if it's gonna offend you, offend you, just gonna have like a trigger warning on it. You know, that's not what they're saying. They say fuck. It's my you ain't Miley Cyrus. You can't have the best of both worlds, motherfucker. <laughs> There's like two either you you uh, you're with us yeah. or I'm gonna block you. Yeah, <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically yeah. Yeah. or your shadow band or yeah. whatever the fuck. I yeah. hate that fucking word too. Uh-uh. Sounds so fucking like mis- fuck mystique, like, like mystique, and there's no mystique behind. That's it. happened to us on TikTok. Like we've gotten our shits like flagged and we get taken Stupid. down. And it's like, bro, we should just live in a fuck. Like nothing that we've ever posted yeah. is like us showing our balls in front of camera. Like no, it's just you know yeah. people saying shit. Yeah, yeah, Patreon. <laughs> but it's just like it's frustrating because. Mm. These social media platforms like restrict you in that way, and mm. man, we trying to just provide content. Just yeah. trying to collect the bag. Oh yeah, provide <laughs> content for everybody. Yeah, like that's literally what we're trying to do. So, so Twitter, imagine fuck. TikTok is one way. Twitter is like fucking ten times worse, bro. Mm. I but honestly don't even see the point in Twitter though. Like, there's so I many. Go on Twitter. There's so many platforms that offer the same thing, and also kick so they kick so many people off that it's like, all right, you're on Facebook or you're on Instagram. You know, and no one uses Snapchat. That shit's yeah. in fucking Antarctica, yeah, yeah. bro. Ain't nobody on that bitch. You Snapchat? For what? For memories. You want to see the Bitmoji stories? I miss Gallardo. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's dumb because you even get like, like uh, there's even like a thing that's, uh, that exists as Facebook jail. What kind of shit is that? Oh, that they, when, got, when you I've do some offensive before. shit? That's I did every some time. Platform. That's, that's every platform. stupid as every fuck. Every platform has Twitter that. has jail too. Just, Instagram like has yet well Facebook on like Facebook. hey every platform even though there's freedom of speech I'm gonna say that's not okay like yeah, yeah fuck, that's the, and that's what Elon Musk is mostly targeting Dude, ben, that's, that's the only thing he's targeting bro like, as far as what being said it's just like yeah it's this is supposed to be a free uh, a country of freedom and Twitter doesn't really represent that because they you know and he, and he was saying like what what we're trying to do is gonna hurt both sides like it's gonna hurt the left. And it's gonna hurt the right equally, like what we're trying to do, that's and that's right. what like works. Hurt both of mm-hmm. them. Don't just stick to one side, because then it's like, oh, we hate you. Yeah. Then it's one side that hate you. Yeah. Like, oh, you don't like that, and we don't like that. That's cool. It's just it's the same thing how we, we talked about the politics. It's be, it used to be like the 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 bad thing about the politics would be like abortion. He likes it, she doesn't. Oof, that's what it used to be. Yeah, but then, then like, but then it became oh, like wow. it became about your whole morals and everything. You know, it became just you as a person. You suck. It, but it used to be just that, that one idea. You like it, she doesn't. What do you What do you guys pick? Well, the thing is that Twitter started shifting towards like they like it, and if you don't like it, then you got to get the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, you got to get the fuck out. So that's that's, that's yeah, what yeah. they're trying to change. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like Elon Musk is gonna hurt both of those people. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'll like, believe it when I'm fucking yeah, see it because yeah. everyone I put in a hundred dollars for that cyber truck and I still ain't seen that shit yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a fucking wait. I'm, hey, you do it. Yeah. But you I need to see it first, motherfucker. I believe that shit. 
No, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> no, I was gonna order one. Low key. I wanted All one. Right. I wanted a cyber truck. That yeah. shit looks badass. That shit is ugly, that is badass. Bro. I like. I like badass. that. I like that about. I like that it's ugly, bro. Hey, like, when we oh. live in a house together, that, and I get my cyber truck, I'm gonna have one right next to yours. <laughs> Charging at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah fuck. I'll let you. That electricity bill. Be <laughs> yeah, 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 able to share files and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were you saying about trigger warnings? I know you're trying to shift over to that side. Oh, I was just saying like like they should put like a trigger warning for people that are gonna get offended. Like you see all those videos on Instagram too. It says that this may be offensive. Cool. See fucking video. I want to see the dude get his head chopped off. Like, oh, it's, you know, that's what you're fucking into. Like, What's the cartel. That's fine. Because for me, like, I like oh, that's, that. That's tough though because there's children on the platform. Who and it's, it's really gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. Hey, two girls no way. Let's nah, be real. No. Nah, they're, I mean, kids are gonna see that shit anyways. No, but they shouldn't. No, that's they the shouldn't. point. Then don't give them a fucking phone. That's a parent's true, fault, true. not that, our that, fault. That, I, yeah, I get that. Oh, like. It's not our fault. Nah, like, these you, days, bro, that's not. That's, be ready for the world, baby girl. Like, we can't, a, like, put you in a bubble and make sure you're not going to be exposed to that. Like, oh, but, well. But the thing is, that's not an avoidable thing to not get your child a phone, believe it or not. At this day and age, it's not. Back then, when we were kids, you're right. that was avoidable. Like, it would be like, what the fuck you need a phone for? There was actually no purpose for us yeah, to have right, a phone. Right, right, right. We, if I need to call my mom, I go to the fucking office to go call my mom. Hey, mom, pick me up. Can you go get a lunch bowl or mm-hmm. something? Right? But nowadays it's like that's not everything. A lot of the kids, their homework sometimes their homework's online and shit like that. Like they need phones and shit like yeah. that. If we're being honest, nowadays they do. You can still put parental control on the phones. Yeah, until so they YouTube a video on how to fucking get around yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's on them. But like, no, you can't like limit whole. Yeah, of course, Johnny. But we can't facilitate this. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm, does that make sense to you? Like that's a big word. If you make yeah, it, that's a big word. if you make it easier for like if all that stuff yeah, exists on that's the true. platform. Then you're like, yeah, the parents can put all these parental controls, but it's still going to be easy to do it through Instagram. But at least you're, you, and what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, they, if they want to do it, they're going to find it. So all you can do is just be better prepared for it. So have that little thing. Because for me, personally, yeah, I'm an adult, but like, I'll see like, oh, this dog gets shot. I don't want to see that shit. So I'll be well, like, cool. Like, thanks for blocking it. So I don't want, that's sad for me. I don't want to see that. If I see a dude gets knocked out. Here's, here's the thing though. Like, I think. For one, in my opinion, this is how I think it should honestly be. Yeah. Is, you know, you should have to put down, like, a driver's license and shit. To honestly, okay. To access certain things. Now, I know fucking first thing that everyone pops in their head poses security Mom. issues. Like, yeah. oh, like, what the fuck? But honestly, I feel like that's one way that can kind of, like, mitigate a little bit of what people post and shit. Because, hey, we have your information. Yeah. We know where the fuck you live, honestly. Yeah. Like, it could be free, you know, but mm-hmm. it should be something that's like regulated in that form. Because that's true. There's on top of that, there's fucking people that are posting account to accounts that, you know, burners and the shit, burners, yeah. burners and yeah. shit that you know, like they're just to troll, just to harm people. Yeah. This will kind of help stop that because now, oh, now you need a driver's license or something yeah. for or an ID yeah. to use it. You I know, would, I wouldn't say go that far because oh, this I, motherfucker, I don't want to go far. <laughs> but you <laughs> nah, drive down the hill. Nah, because uh, hey, this license is already registered. You can't make another account. No, but I, I wouldn't say but you could, that for you could apply for another one. It's like you said, yeah, that you start really blurring the lines between like security and like private life, Safety, yeah. you know, and yeah, intrusiveness, yeah, intrusiveness, exactly. So I'd another say more one. you go, there's definitely like software that they can develop where maybe there's like a like a face ID or like a scan type shit where like it's literally scans your facial features mm-hmm. and be like, is this a child or an adult? And they can access this content. I ain't going to get approved for another 10 years, bro. Look at my face. All right. Yeah, but facts. that's that, the people who look really young, they, they're kind of fucked. Thanks. <laughs> no, but yeah. I'm saying, like, that software can be, like, developed. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they can <laughs> avoid, like, they're fucking breaching our shit anyways. Like, they're always listening to us, watching us, regardless. Mm-hmm. But if we're going that route where, like, they literally have a driver's mm-hmm. license attached to the thing, I think that's a little too far. I'd say more of social. just, like. Put your social down. <laughs> okay, but I say something more like that, like a facial recognition software that mm. maybe can. It's true because, like, when I had MySpace back then, I like my ass was twenty six. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like in fifth grade, uh, yeah. yeah like, you really? Yeah. yeah. I got Facebook when I was a freshman. <laughs> I remember I I got a Facebook when I was a freshman, but I had MySpace before. So on oh, MySpace, my ass was literally twenty six years old. Like, and I worked at none of your business. You know, like <laughs> like. <laughs> At the Krusty Krab <laughs> swag loading, yeah, it's 100 percent fucking, complete. Is, is it, <laughs> what was your profile song? Oh, I don't even fucking remember. I had Aquid Baby. For la manera que me visto. I fucking had like I think I had a like SPM or something. No, <laughs> uh, 
Let's go. Oh. Do a twister. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, hey, yeah, hey real oh, quick though. Hard. I know kind of off topic. Page. It's weird that a bunch shit, of 26 year olds were fucking with a bunch of fucking fifth graders. Bro, I just <laughs> friends, huh? We were all 26. I checked my YouTube account. They, they motherfuckers wished me a happy 50th birthday the other day. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I've, had, I've been 18 plus on YouTube since I was like, since I can remember. Yeah. Since remember, 2007, bro. Do you remember your background? What? I don't Dude, remember. Yes, I, I remember. Mind. No, I don't remember. You remember, remember you felt like a fucking crack in the code when you had to, try, try to put that shit in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look up the embedded. Yeah, on I, had, yeah. I had Barcelona. Like, yeah. I had Barcelona. Yeah. Like, yeah. I always changed it. I had Dino, bro. I fucking had a website where I would go and you download skins for free and I use yeah, them. Yeah. Dude, that shit was cool as fuck. The flames? The flames what on did the you, What did you have, Danny? <laughs> I don't know. It was like green and like black or some shit. It was pretty cool. It was like cool. So like like, it, it was like a like design, you know, shit. like those hey. weird designs. Uh, no, mine was always sports, like yeah. Barca, Chivas. Yeah. It was always that shit. It would depend. Like if I wanted to be hard, like I would have like the Let's Go song on there. And like it, it, it'd be like, it, it'd be like, it should be like a neutral color because it's black yeah. and I want it to all to pop. Like the words would be blue and shit. Yeah. yeah and that yeah. shit. But if I wanted to be sporty like Barca, then I'd have. Oh, wow, wow. Ah, and yeah. it's like it was like a vibe, you know. Yeah, I like that. Hey, but but some skins yeah, were fucking hard. cringy, dude. Some people had who needs personality when you have swag. Like mm -hmm. those are yeah. stupid as fuck. That's Facebook days, though. You know what's fucked though? Yeah. Like the whole reason, like MySpace for me was like to this day was number one. Like it was better compared to all this the social medias that exist today. Yeah. Like just like by personalization, Custom, it was number yeah. one, bro. Yeah, it was. It was. It's like to Customized this day, it was the most fun. Maybe I'm just nostalgic about it. No, no, no. Yeah. It, it was the most. Fun. It you was. could pick your favorite songs, your favorite background. Yeah. There, there was already like a photo sharing mm. um, implementation, and, the, and then too. you also had favorites. I think. Or what was it called? Videos yeah. Too. It was. It was dope as fuck. Your top friends. And yeah. The top whole, friends. The Ooh. whole reason it died. I, I, what I think it died was because, and it happens with every social media platform. Is it's the young people have a hold of it, and then yeah. once the old people start going oh, into it, and they, yeah. then yeah. it really young people, then it kills the social media for them. And yeah. now we're doing that to the TikTok. Like now that we've done, literally, bro, we're doing that to TikTok. Like the kids are on the platform. When they make the next one, those kids are gonna move to that shit quick, and yeah. we're gonna be stuck on TikTok. Like we're the older generation. Well, because well, all the adults right now, like the well, fucking adult, all the real, like you know, like our parents are on. And face like they're on all Facebook on Facebook, but, but they kicked us us off of Facebook. Yeah, Remember we were all on Facebook. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they all got on Started it. Adding us. Yeah. That's yeah. why everybody went to Twitter. Twitter. No, no, but we went to Instagram. Remember we went yeah. to Instagram. Yeah. And that's, that's what, that's and what it is now. Then parents started getting Instagram. Yeah. They're like yeah. Twitter. Let's go to Twitter. Yeah, and then yeah. nobody went on Twitter, and then it's kind of just like ah. Well, but I feel like Instagram is still pretty popping. But also, you can send dick pics on Snapchat, and they don't stick around. So also like times times are shifting, bro. At least, at least here in the states, like the way parents, and like you know, they they have this mentality of um, you're you're your kids' friends. They want to stay young. They're your kids' friends, so oh. it's like that could change. The like it could eventually be like there will be a platform that'll come out at the right time, at the right time where kids are like, who gives? A like yeah, my my parents have been following me since I was young. But do you think that's just our generation though? That we're just getting more used to, we're getting older, so now we're able to hang out with our parents. Cause I still think like the young generation is not never gonna want to, like, mom and dad aren't cool. Like, that's yeah. just like to some people. But the thing is, you have like to my my younger sisters. They think that my dad's tight. I don't. I hate that guy. <laughs> nah, I imagine. <laughs> I, I love. Cool. I love. I, 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 I But the, also, I understand that other parents are still yeah. on that strict shit. Like, yeah. you gotta be home by six. No, I feel like like kids nowadays are more cool with their parents because, like. People are having kids, like, I think, like, maybe, like, younger stuff. Or, like, are they able to relate to more things compared to our parents? Like, my dad talks about, like, musica de rancho. Like, I can't relate to that. But now kids, like, our age, could like, they can relate to music that we fuck with. Well, the advantage is that we grew up with this technology in our hands. Exactly. So to learn it and then adapt with it. Like, as like, we grow, on it. we adapted with it. So at this point, I don't even think it matters because when something new comes out, everyone knows jump on it because everyone wants a moment on the internet. Yeah. So it doesn't fucking matter, honestly, like, if the kids want to move on to the next one or whatever, because technically, honestly, it's not even that. It's just the cool people are going here. It doesn't matter if it's the kids or the adults. The cool people, if David Dobrik goes, hey, I'm starting a new fucking platform here on here yeah. on this thing, like, they're jumping to that and everybody else going because it's not even anymore. I don't feel, like, obviously, there's, there's pages that cater to audiences, but initially, it, honestly, it just comes down to entertainment. And if anybody wants to be entertained, they're going to go to another fucking platform. Yeah. 
You guys ever fucking get a, those metal straws from um, 7 Eleven and yes. do spitballs out of them? No, oh, I didn't ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yes. Yeah. No. Asslerpees. <laughs> nah, like, nah. <laughs> we was doing bad shit, bro. Like, we were doing that. So we would get metal straws. We go to 7 Eleven. You buy the metal straw, it'd be like five bucks or some shit like that. But it come with a big ass Slurpee. And then you'd be able to, you'd keep the straw and shit. And then you fucking have like a whole thing of wads of paper and shit in there. You fucking put it in your mouth and fucking, I like you. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, dude, the one that, that bo- right no, uh, the one that fucking hurt is the one where they would get the paper, the thick one, and they'd fold it and then flick you with the rubber band. That shit fucking hurt. I'm like, that bitch, what the fuck? Yeah. That shit made yeah. you flinch. You were like, yeah, that shit. That, my that pizza, shit. <laughs> like, fuck, dude. But I remember having a bunch of tech decks, stealing a lot of them. Shout out to Kmart, shout out to Walmart. Uh, but I stole a lot of those motherfuckers, bro, because I was like, I need to be, I need to be on my game, bro. Did you actually? Oh. Yeah, I did when I was a kid. It was like five yeah. bucks, like ten bucks, though. Yeah, what the fuck? You think my dad's? You, yeah, you think my dad's made out of money? Nah. This is like it's not exactly. Like I paid ridiculous <laughs> amounts for tech decks when I was a kid. Ah, set up, you didn't dude. Know. You gotta like, yeah, <laughs> he hey, didn't. you got a tech deck that I really like. You say ten. Oh yeah, You, yeah, you yeah, say yeah, ten yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say ten bucks. And you give me the yeah. wrench. Yeah. <laughs> we got yeah. a deal, bro. Yeah, like, get, hey, hand over the pink slip. Like yeah. for like for me, I was lucky enough to like have my brother into that shit too. So like when yeah, that shit was popping, he w- would see the trends first before me sometimes. So he had his he had a fucking uh he had a half what is it half pipe? Yeah. He, he had that shit with the railing. He had everything, Damn, and I fucking take rich. it. And I remember I had what the fuck was it called? It's the the fire in the water. What the fuck are they called again? World Industries. World in yeah, World Industries. And he had a tech deck. And I remember, buy those shoes, I, by the way. I remember that he had a he had a big one, a big tech deck, and I don't know why he had it, but I fucking took it and I took it to school. Why the fuck you take that shit to school? Yeah. And I was like, trying to show everybody, yeah. and then the teacher was like. I'll take that And I was like Fuck For real He yeah. just came up on your tactics so, bro so And that bitch ass teacher was like Sorry quick story This fucking bitch ass teacher Good thing she's fired now I'm sure you know who she is This, this fucking teacher was like Oh if you want this back she's Your cooking. parents gotta come pick it up I was like Are you fucking kidding me yeah. Which wasn't like, the rule by the way and, Yeah and you it's just stupid just go to the office And they get Yeah to pick it up after I was like You really want my parents To come to the school And fucking Like for what Like yeah. mm-hmm. I'm glad you're fired bitch so For like the younger viewers <laughs> I know, glad you're in jail. Man. I know we have some younger viewers, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know what tech deck is our like during like our when we were in middle school, it was like a huge popular fad that happened yeah. with like really small skateboards that you just you just use two fingers finger right? boys finger boys. Why do you yeah. think we're good at that now, bro? Ow! Come on, like, ask, who ask knew? Your mom. Ask your mom. Horny uh, girls. We practiced for, for so kids, long. All the kids dude. watching. Ask your mom. Yeah, but there was like a period in middle school where like all the guys had them. Every guy, yeah. and then we're just fucking snapping them on our desks, you know. Mm. You ever burial flip a clit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch, you, you don't even know my finisher. Uh, I'm fucking. I'm gonna laser flip that clip, bro. <laughs> hey, and I, I understand I'm teachers now. <laughs> I understand teachers now. That's yeah, no, just shit, fucking that's annoying, annoying, bro. You, bro. Like they're just trying to teach English. And I'm just like, trying to play, like off the biology book. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, literally, you wrap the yeah. book, you, you, you like stop uh, it off the teacher's head. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's a T. <laughs> well, y'all really good with moves. I sucked with those no, shit, bro. I was, I was, I was, I was right around though. I knew my, I knew some <laughs> stuff. That oh, actually man. does a little, <laughs> <laughs> the little foot thing, yeah, little, foot, little foot, thing. foot kick. Uh, you couldn't get so far. Right? Yeah. Hey, do you fucking remember the other toys that came from it? The scooters and all that. Yeah, oh, yeah. The bike, the bike, dude, the that shit was crazy. They yeah, they never caught on. Yeah, how do you do that shit? There's people that are good. Have you seen those people? Yeah. That, that, there's, they're on TikTok too. Shout out to people that have TikTok. They're, they have like the BMX little finger thing and then like they're doing tricks yeah. off of it and like grinding. They even got little shoes on them and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah they're hard. Shit's crazy, like, they're dude. They're doing finger shit. Yeah. 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 But no Fing- bitches, bro. No <laughs> bitches. Go finger yeah. some bitches. <laughs> I, saw one, I saw one that had like little red high heels, high heels and then had like a little red dress and that motherfucker was dancing salsa. I was like, God yeah. damn. Motherfuckers are good, bro. Because it was hard to like take that shit off the table it was hard mm-hmm. So what I would do You, do Ali. you tape it? Yeah I fucking hate ah, that geez. bitch yeah, How you know that? Fake, bro. How you know that? I don't give a fuck I Everybody's like Ollie. what the fuck I'm like dude watch I'm gonna pick it up from this classroom All the way to the other classroom <laughs> Fucking tape yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Gullible yeah, ass kids yeah. huh? I, I cheated in a different way bro <laughs> One time I was fucking playing at the lunch tables, right? Mm. Cause yeah, that's where the fucking that was the grounds for that yeah. shit, right? That was X yeah. Games. Yeah. So we fucking we play at the lunch move. tables, bro. And this fucking gordito, fucking my bad, Johnny. And I was playing. It wasn't, <laughs> you. It wasn't <laughs> you. It wasn't you. Thought it was skinny back then. Yeah. No, it was the other fucking Eduardo. I don't know what you want. I wouldn't say not him. Not him though. It was another guy. <laughs> my name was Lalo. Yeah, yeah. We called you Lalo back then. 
He did. And then um, he spilled his fucking maple syrup, and it went on my board, dog. Oh, Fuck. hey, grip, like, grip, what? grip, booze, oh, boom, bro. <laughs> I was doing fucking flips. I was up here for like ten seconds. Like, look at this, look at this Ollie, bro. Y'all this can't do it like fucking me, fucking Chris bro. Angel, <laughs> yeah, bro. Mind freak like, ass. What? And next, I will escape from a. a I imagine. Nah, come on. Yeah. But like it's it, that shit was crazy, bro. The the hold that it had on his the rubber was, bands, bro. Rubber bands too. But what were they called? The, the, I forget. Just the regular fuck. rubber bands. No, but, but they, they were, had funny bands. But they, the, the funny bands. That's what I'm talking or about. Silly the, bands. The, whatever. Yeah, the, they the went back to those figures and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, would, you would let them go and they would go back and be like a fucking dinosaur. Yeah, and like oh, it's Snoopy. Wrist. You remember, you remember <laughs> all that shit? People would do that. Yeah. The yeah, beads stupid. that people would fucking put all over their fucking shit. I am boobies bracelets. The boobies, bro, motherfucker, bro. You had to be there. Hey, I like love, the shit that entertained movies. me and entertained me for some reason was the the ball of rubber bands. Like oh. that, that shit was really entertaining oh, was, to me. Yeah, it's cause you. It's cause what would you do though? You just, just you take them off. Yeah, you got ADHD, man. Why? It's fun. <laughs> well, I guess that it's like a fidget spinner. That, yeah, kind I was gonna thing, say you know? it's like a fidget spinner before the fidget spinner was a thing. Yeah, it's cool. When did the fidget yeah. spinner go off? That's Probably like a few years ago, like 2016. Six. We were already old, no? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hold on with that world. I don't know about old. Whoa. Put an ER there. You're going up there. This little back. That was the echo. Yeah, we are. Fuck, but. Also, do you guys ever fuck with those uh, the ninja stars that people would build in class and just throw them at people? Yeah. Oh yeah, they were cool. Uh, I didn't know I how to make them. I never know how to make, make them, but I knew the people that knew how, and they would give it to me. <laughs> just yeah. throw at people, or the oh, or yeah. the little triangle to make the flick for football, like where you do the yeah, oh, yeah, the oh, yeah. football. Yeah, you do that like across. I, I went through a yeah. huge like uh, airplane making phase. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Yeah. When you when you when you get the top and you rip it and you had like a little hole. Yeah. Come on, bro. Big old. They're not consistent. <laughs> they're not. They're not. I if I would have kept that, that I would have been an origami professor. Yeah. <laughs> I drew that. An fucking, engineer. I drew that S, bro. I had a business low key. I, had, yeah. I drew, drew the S. The, the, the S. That was elementary the school, S. huh? That was I think sixth grade, bro. For you, I, yeah. I swear I was drawing that shit in elementary. No, school. but I'm saying sixth grade I had a business food, so I, I would I would do it and I would fucking I, I don't know I was like kind of I would just like do a bunch of figures on it like yeah. bunch of little shit inside of it yeah and like I would just color it and like and then I would sell it to anybody I would just tell you what you want on it kind of and I just. Hey, my boy was running a business. Hey, but fuck that. What was your pop? Tycoon. What was your Pop Tropica username though? Oh, you remember Pop remember. Tropica? I do. Yeah, I still remember, remember the. Name, I played bro. cool math games, bro. Oh, uh, this dude is actually cool. Cool math games is cool. Or yeah. Fun Brain, fucking oh, Fun yeah, Brain, bro. Fun Brain was cool. Yeah. Was cool. Yeah. Millsberry.com, bro. I remember all that. Fun shit. Brain was that the one with the robot and shit? I don't know. So no, I don't know. it's like the little cartoons. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was like a penguin. Oh no, that's Club Penguin. That's Club penguin. Hey, remember Club Penguin? <laughs> Got kicked off that bitch first day. Yep, me <laughs> too. Exactly how that live started. Where the hoes at? <laughs> kicked off, bro. <laughs> My little penguin. We thought they didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> he never bro. Even let it. Come on, bro. Uh, I, was, I was popped into Club Penguin and say, "Where the hoes at?" <laughs> Dude, hey, me too. I, but I was a kid. But I pulled up. I was like fourteen. I was like, "Hey, where, 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 like, where, like, where's all the the penguin bitches at? You better cut that shit out." Um, <laughs> and what's up, penguin bitches? No, he's talking about the stutter. The stutter. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, <laughs> "That's free." <laughs> <man." laughs> no, nope. you have a speech no. impediment. Who gives a fuck? Uh, I do. Superstar. Yeah, nope. Yeah, so double it, double it. Yeah, I might just do that shit the whole podcast. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I think I fucking like I was kicked off for that. But yeah. <laughs> do you, I, dude, I went on YouTube. Uh, mm. What was it? It was like a year ago, and all of a sudden, for some reason, or a couple years ago, mm. it was like. Um, Club Penguin farewell party and shit. Like, bro, yeah. it was literally the people on Fuck. there to the last day, like the last day, and they're all, like all together in one spot. And they're like saying bye, and they're like, there's sad. people getting kicked out, kicked off because it's the last day anyway. What the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> fuck all y'all, yeah. Bitches. Fuck these hoes, like just crazy shit like that. But that shit kind of brought a tear to my eye because then that shit goes black, oh, and then like the fuck. servers like it goes to four four not found, and I was like, oh, that's fucking sad. A piece that's of my childhood crazy. died, bro. <laughs> Literally, bro. That that bro. We're chilling in middle school. Let's go back. It was a, bro. This is, this is all a trick, fool. We all wanted to grow up so fast. We got here. Fuck, bro. Let's go I back. Know, I didn't want to grow up. I didn't want to grow up. I knew this shit was a scam. <laughs> I knew this shit was a scam. My mom was showing me the receipt after groceries. I don't like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> shit, fuck. But hey, but when you were kids too, bro. I don't know about y'all. I was lying to my parents, bro. Yeah, you that know, was a move. Just, <laughs> just when you were a kid, move. I'm still lying today. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> lying. My dad's work right but, now. But my mom, my, like I, I've had all my, like my parents, like fucking just lied to me too. Like all of them have lied. Yeah. They still lie to me now. Your yeah. parents lied to you right now? Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. 
<laughs> Why am I going to tell you you're going to get mad? Shout out Johnny. Shout call out back. Johnny. Like, my mom's like, it's cool. I'm not going to get mad. And I told him, what the fuck? I'm like, okay. Yeah, like, facts. Yeah, your parents, fuck, would your parents say that shit too? What? I'm not going to get mad. If you tell me I'm not going to get mad. Nah, they, would do, they would do the open the door. I'm not going to hit you. And then op- <laughs> I'm like, all right. And I'll fucking crack <laughs> it. <laughs> <"Nisa que me metí." laughs> as soon as you crack it open a little bit. Huh? You hit me last time. This dude. is last month. Yeah, yeah, yeah not even that long ago. Yeah. But you, you said you was lying to your parents like that, bro. bro. I'm a compulsive liar. Why were you lying to your parents? Just because you wanted to? Nah, not nah, for really. that. It wasn't like sport or anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was just like my par- my mom was strict as fuck. You nah, know? Yeah. Sure All right. <laughs> my best. mom was strict as fuck. So like, for no reason. I think I think that's a detriment <laughs> too. Like, if, if you're strict on your kids, they're just gonna push them to do stupid shit. Yeah. Strict parents, and, kids, sneaky kids. Right? Yeah, that's and I was out way. there doing sneaky ass shit. And, and, and she, I mean, she listens to this podcast. She knows what's up. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> she from Nayari, but now y'all ridiculous. Though. <laughs> <laughs> real shit. Nah, for real. Because like, this I, would get in trouble for maybe, dumb shit. Yeah, like I'd get in, so that would just push me to do even stupider shit. Yeah. And then a lot of times she'd be like, well, where the fuck were you? Or, you know, or did you do this knowing damn well I did it? She already knows. And yeah. I'd be like, nope. <laughs> you know, and, and the confidence. And my mom would be like, "I can't believe, like, I." She's like, "I know the truth, and oh. you're still fucking lying to me right now." Like, I know the real truth, and I'll be like, "No, you gotta stick to it." Yeah. Like, I stick to my fucking stick dad. to your story. Yeah. You rolled, you rolled with that. You lie. already, yeah, and like to this day, bro, I still lie about shit I did when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. and then you know? yeah, because you gotta get your start going, yeah, even though it's on the podcast. Yeah, what I fucking hate it is is like the moments I would lie to my mom, and then she'll catch me slipping like two days later, and mom was like, "Hey, so I was with John the other day. It was fun. I thought you didn't go. Fuck, fuck. Yeah. I was like, no, like last week, and I was just fucking bullshit, dude. Yeah, I do shit all the time, dude. I was so fucking scared of my mom that. I mean, she would tell me this shit. Like, if you ever get in a fight and I find out you get in a fight, when you get home, I'm going to fuck you up. Me too. Mm-hmm. Which makes no yeah. fucking right? sense. And she was like, and if you lost, I'm going to fuck you up even harder. I'm like, huh? You're going to lose fights. Too. So legit, I've, I've gotten into like a couple fights in my life. and But so one, one, of the, one of the biggest ones that I got in my the most, that shit was all over the internet. <laughs> you know? Like, Champ. I still lied about that shit. Like I was, <laughs> she's know. watching you. Yeah, <laughs> she saw the fucking video, and I was still lying in her face. Like, no, I didn't get in a fucking fight because I was scared of telling her the fucking truth. You're a champ. You get what dude. I'm saying? So, yeah. I, I mean, I would only ever lie. Just, I don't know, like as a defense mechanism, my I safety. Guess. Yeah, <laughs> my safety. Yeah, dude. like when my mom, <laughs> I, I, I would lie over everything because. Like, well, my parents, they weren't as strict, but they still didn't let me go out anywhere. You're still a big-ass liar, bro. I'd fucking go out everywhere. Like, when I was 15, I was going to clubs and everything. Like, it was crazy. Because I had friends that were older, and they let me in the clubs. Like, I was going out everywhere, and I'd be gone for days. Yeah. You know? No, like, yeah, you would be literally, gone for days, Johnny would bro. be gone for days. And yeah. there were moments where they would either either get really mad at me, or I'd come home, and they'd be like, you were, like, you were gone? They wouldn't even know. It's one yeah. thing to fucking lie to your parents, like Johnny. It's a whole other fucking thing to involve another motherfucker uh-huh. without knowing. Him, I will pull up here. Isn't that Johnny? <laughs> that motherfucker's in LA, huh? Dude. Yeah. Oh, I'm, he's inside. That was in San what Francisco. The, the fuck? I don't know. What's <laughs> he's fuck? taking his shit right now. Yeah, well, I would mention, like, Lalo, like, more than Jonathan, because she could pull it to Jonathan's. Yeah. But she's not going to pull it to your house. She felt like your house was far. Yeah. So my mom was like, oh, like, like what's the person you're going with? Oh, with Jonathan. And then I go out with some other friends or whatever because I'm going out. And then, m- m- like, later I'll come back. She's like, oh, how was the Jonathan? So I was like, oh, it was cool with him. Like, we went out. He came over, to, like, looking for you. I was like, fuck. Yeah. And, like, I didn't tell him, so he didn't know. Yeah. I was like, god damn it. His mom wouldn't come over here. She'd call me because she had my fucking number for some reason. Yeah. So she just fucking start down. And I would have it Johnny's mom on the thing. I'd be like, Dick, I'm not picking Thanks. this shit up. Like, because it's like the first time I'd answer, because Johnny would, for the most part, he he, he would, he was sometimes, sometimes, sometimes he forgot he didn't. Yeah. Tell me. So he'd be like, hey, mom, said, yeah, I'm over there. So like, yeah, yeah. And, she, and she was cool with me. She's like, hey, hey mom, como estas? You know, chop it a little bit. No, aquí está, aquí está, aquí está este güey. She hated that word. Yeah, and I knew it. And I, and I knew it. She still does probably. But I was like, aquí está güey, aquí nomás, aquí pasa nada. Me lo pasa, I was like, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's in the no, restroom. My phone. He said, yeah, he's not. He's like, okay, pues, mandalo para la casa soon, you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Like, bro, and I'm like, mom's hey, fucking... your mom's tripping. She said she's about to pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, ah, it's all good. I'll hit her later. We go so far in our lives that we'd literally hit up the homies and be like, hey, if my mom calls, mm-hmm. just tell yeah. her I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you were piping some bitch and fucking. Uh, back, back, back. I was just out on the back. I was chilling. Yeah. In the back of a warehouse. Oh, I was, I was, I wanted to talk about something. What was that? What was one of the scariest feelings to you guys as a kid? Is that, like, that's one of them. Dying when you weren't like when you weren't supposed to be doing something or out, outside, 
and your parents rolled up to like where you, they knew you kicked it with your homies and shit. Like yeah. you're riding bikes or playing soccer or whatever. And your parents rolled up on you super slow and you saw your car and you're just like, fuck. <laughs> I'm not so supposed to, I'm supposed to be inside right now. Like I'm not yeah. supposed to be outside. Oh, like, to me, that was one of the, the yeah, you'd be inside. grounded and shit. And yeah. You're like, yeah. Like you're not supposed to be out like outside the house and shit. Like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm just getting the mail. Yeah. yeah. Three blocks down. Uh, fool, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Just, you just, you just kind of knew already. Like yeah, for you, it was like you're doing uh, drugs at your homie's house. Literally, <laughs> but all you're doing is playing. You're playing sports, playing bro. dodgeball, uh, fucking Nazi man. Yeah, she and, pulls and, up, and it looks like you're fucking like on crack, bro. Like, fuck. well, that's the thing though. Strict parents make sneaky kids, bro. That's yeah. just that's the it law. literally is. That's like law, of, law of attraction, honestly. The like, law says the law says. And to be catch. fair, like well, to be honest too, like I feel. Bad for the girls too, especially in Hispanic households. Fuck yeah, dude! Uh, they got it for sure. Like worse, because uh, right. you're gonna like, get pregnant. Yeah, yeah. no, they Stores. for sure. For, like the girls. I mean, I remember like when I was a kid too, and dating girls. Like yeah. I'll give you guys a specific example. Um, one time we were going. I was going to the movie theater with this, with this girl, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And from what I thought is like, we were still we were already kind of old enough to fuck. Yeah, to be honest. Mm. And like, no, but we were already old enough to where like, she should be able to tell her parents like, hey, I'm gonna go to the movie theater with yeah. the guy, right? Mm. This was like right before my girlfriend. And, and um, she, so she pulls up to the to the theater, theater, right? And I think nothing of it. I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna buy the tickets, right? And then she starts going like, oh, like, let's go inside. Like right away, she's like, let's go inside real quick. And I'm like, huh? Uh, all right. Mm. I was like, well, we gotta fucking <laughs> buy the, I was like, well, I'm like, all right, well, we just go inside. Mm. And then, and then she like just keeps looking over her shoulder and shit. Mm. And then and then finally she's just like after like ten minutes of just like bullshit. She because we said I had to go buy the tickets. Yeah. So she's just trying to keep me o- occupied. And after like ten minutes of this bullshit, I was like, hey, "What's going on?" Like, was like, "Oh, you know what? I my dad keeps driving up and down the fucking movie theater. Like, I saw his car. Like, he's like trying to see who I'm with. Mm. I'm like, oh, well, who the fuck did you tell me you were with?'" She's like, "Oh, I told him I was gonna go with some friends, like some girlfriends." Mm. And I'm like. Uh, I was like, number one, I was like, don't put me in that situation. Yeah. I was like, I feel bad for you. I was like, I was like, I've also fucking lied to my parents before, but I was like, you're putting me in a position where I might get into shit with your dad. I'm about to score up, right? So I was like, I was <laughs> yeah. like, I'm taking you home right now. You know, yeah. I, I took her the fuck home because I drove there. She got dropped off by her dad, but look, she could have drove there too, but she got dropped off by her dad because they're so controlling, and that's yeah. that was my initial point. Like, girls got the shit end of the stick. Because of like super overprotective dads, yeah, you know, or even moms too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. still gonna yeah. pipe your, girl, have, your daughter, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> and like she gonna kiss you the night after she had her lips on my fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> He's not can't be mad. <laughs> Get over it. Hey, you want a daughter? Hug Get over it. You want a daughter? You want grand? You want grand? I'm not gonna be like that with her. <laughs> hey, a daughter hey, so she comes bad. inside from sucking dick and she goes, "Good night, Poppy." Oh, oh, I love you. Dude. Come lips. It's, it's bullshit, dude. Cause she gets home, like, wash your fucking face right now. <laughs> Brush your teeth. <laughs> it's bullshit because really cause you know, dental like, energy. you fucking know that it's um the girls so, super like. Like the super against her going out, and then her brother, that's probably even fucking younger, four foot five years younger. Oh, he's sixteen. He's okay. Like you can go. Yeah. And he gets home at two in the morning. Oh, it's fine. That's like that's such bullshit, dude. That is a fucked up perspective because it's not like, granted, a girl's the one who gets pregnant, but if someone gets her pregnant, that motherfucker should be there too. Yeah. He he can get girls pregnant three hundred sixty five days a year. The girl gets pregnant once. No, that's what I'm saying. That's oh, yeah. what's fucked up about it. Like the girls were the ones that got kid, like stayed inside and that's shit. Bullshit. But, I mean, I didn't have a sister or anything like that, but yeah. I imagine like Sucks. you know, I was you know, I was raised in, and there's a lot of girls on the block that we lived on. And yeah. that was like always the concern. Like they wouldn't wanna they wouldn't be able to play with us. We'd be fucking like eight or nine, bro. Like and it's like I'm she not ugly. Fuck, like, I'm not gonna fuck her she yet. Ugly. Yeah, I macked her down. I'm but. not gonna fuck her yet. You know what hey. I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, we're I'm working just, our way up. I'm just playing football right we're now. Just playing spin the we're bottle. Hey, yeah. she, hey your, your daughter knows how to run the ones. By the way, yeah. <laughs> she fucking. Mm. Hey, that's just really fucked up because I <laughs> she running routes. Because I remember I had a friend, and she had a friend that wasn't allowed to go out at all, and it was hard for her to go out. Um, the dad even put fucking bars <clears throat> on her window. Cause her older sister got pregnant That's young, so he's like, "You're gonna get pregnant too." Fuck that. So he didn't let her grow out anywhere. But he would drop her off anywhere. But, but, older, but the older sister probably okay. got pregnant because of his strict ass regardless. Yeah, yeah, of course, he's of course. Strict as fuck, and then that keep made in her, mind made her want to go out and do stupid shit. You keep know? in mind that this girl was like 22. This is just a few years ago. She was 22. She never even had her first kiss, yeah. and she couldn't go out anywhere. And she was working and had her own car. This girl was but ugly. 
Ain't no one gonna touch this girl with a pole. <laughs> yeah, but but the, besides the fact, like, that's, that's fucked up. Like, that's you're not lying, though. That's a like, lie. Uh, What's the lie? Motherfuckers will fuck anything. They don't care. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah. Like, you didn't see her. So, <laughs> you didn't see her. Can't get mad. Uh, come on, Johnny. But what, 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 ugly. what one ugly guy fucking tell me yeah, something no, about like ugly, but the, uh, uh, the parent, parents that do that mm-hmm. shit will never self reflect, bro. Those are the parents that never self reflect. Yeah. The, your first one, a dumbass. Your second one, Got you know in a dumbass in the sense of got pregnant early. Second one got pregnant early. How about the third one? Yeah. How about you switch it up? How about yeah. you try to be open with your kids? How about you reflect and see how maybe you maybe you fucked up? Maybe it was you. Maybe you created yeah. that person. Their palabras law though in their house. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah but uh, you, you, you could reflect, bro. Like mm-hmm. I get it. Like oh, I became I, I became a parent at fucking sixteen or whatever. And so I know everything. So whose fault is that? So I became. So I know from here, starting here, I became a parent and I'm I'm an adult and this is like my mindset. But you can grow, bro. Like you can grow mentally. What do you yeah. think to your point that you just said? Do you think now that's why more parents like? Maybe our age or whatever, they want to be friends with their kids, like how we were talking about earlier. A little bit, yeah, but it's like that. Because we, I mean, I think deep down we know sneak, like strict parents make sneaky kids, but I think that if you also have a friendship relationship with your kids, like you're supposed to, you're not gonna, that they're not gonna respect you either, you know? Like, Renan, this was probably scared of her, but he respected her, you know? But there's a balance. Like, I, I, I had just a scared to even say her name, bro. I was like, Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker had people scared to say yeah. his name. Lydia, bro. you're That's crazy. Like it's the same. I don't even say her like name, that. bro. Yeah. Like I, I, I had a friend and his dad was strict with him, but like he was friends with them, but he was like, hey, when they shit hits the fan when it's serious shit, I'm not your fucking friend. He's like, I need you to know that I'm your dad first and you're gonna respect me. And if I say no to something, like my friend should be like, ah, nah, it's cool. He's like, hey, I said no. Like we're we're cool, but don't push your limits. Cause if you're gonna be like that with me, then that friendship's done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you got to let them know, hey, I'm the dad and I say what goes here and your mom says what goes here. We, we, we can be we're like, we can be cool, yeah. but learn the, the what the fuck you say? Like the limit. Right, like yeah, you have to know your line. place. That's that's what, You're yeah. still my kid. I like the way like my, like my dad raised me. Yeah. Like the, in the sense of my, how my dad raised me, I was always tied with him. Like I always, I could always crack jokes with my dad in the that's sense cool. of like, but not like say like harsh as words. Now I'm yeah. grown up. My, like my dad has shifted into like, Compadre style Like I'm here for you If you need me Like if you need Like a life lesson If you need to. But any, but as a young kid I was, I was always cracking jokes And I was always, like If you ever fucking get drunk If you ever do this If you ever fucking You call me first Like you I don't I'm not I'm actually not gonna be mad at you I'll be upset if you get home And I don't know how And you're responsible you're, you're, yeah. you're being irresponsible Like be responsible And call me And we'll figure that yeah. shit out You know like, and, and we'll figure it out That's a real And as I, got, and as I got older you got it, lucky, and, bro. and I, as, as I got older, he and like it just became like nowadays he's he's scared to say verga, but sometimes he'll be like, you know, <laughs> but he said like he just now he's more like loose. Now he's getting more of a, like an adult, like chill vibes. Like, and I, he can be I, himself. I, 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 I get yeah. home, he's like, if it's okay, you know, how, how you doing, or whatever, you know. And I, I like the way I was raised. Yeah, and people don't have that, and I, I really feel I don't have that. I've never, yeah. I don't think I'm ever gonna have that. Yeah, I don't have that. Not either. even with your dad, no, that's tight. No, my dad's cool, but still, like, he's still like. Um, I don't. I, you can be like, oh, I was out with the homies, you know, doing stupid shit, drinking. Piping bitches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't have that relationship with my dad. Like, mm-hmm. my dad is very like respectful. Yeah, you gotta. Um, it's cool. Like, he's really cool to talk to, but that, those will never be our conversations, you know. And yeah. I think, um, especially that was not the conversation with my mom. But yeah. but yeah. also like, <laughs> as, awesome as like as I got older too, I'm like, now that I'm older, I just say shit. Uh-huh. That's why I don't care if she listens to this podcast yeah. anymore. Yeah, because I'm uh, like, Lydia. what the fuck you gonna do? Like, you're not gonna. <laughs> she goes, You'll see and when that, you get home. And, and, the, oh, that, and people, is and my this is my message to people who are still stuck in those situations where like, there's people in situations where like, their fucking parents tower over them so bad you that they up. don't think for themselves, mm. and every move yeah, they yeah, make yeah. is like, they're it's like with a with the um. Handcuffs mm-hmm. to their yeah. parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I saw some girl on TikTok recently crying because she was of Asian descent. I, I couldn't tell which one. Like I don't have that superpower. Okay, <laughs> that's yeah. racist, bro. That's racist. But yeah, um, you she, no, she, was, she was of Asian descent, but I wouldn't be able to pinpoint which exact. Don't matter. Go on. But don't matter, um, sure. she was Indian. She was crying, bro, mm-hmm. because like her parents pretty much disowned her because she stood up for herself and she was like, "I'm not gonna fund my little sister's um, college education anymore." I saw that, by the way, because. She was like, I'm wow. looking at the bank statements, and she's not spending it on school and books and shit like that. She's spending it like on clubs, 
eating fast food. Why is she paying for her? Exactly. Because <laughs> in, in that culture, in like Asian culture, it's very like you have to take care of your family. Suck my dick. Right? So she was she stood she finally stood for herself. Like good for her. Y'all and, do it then. What the fuck? And that's my point. And like in Mexican like culture, people still have that like twenty five years old and they're still yeah. like, Hey mom, I'm not I'm they're still lying to them, you know, and yeah. you're fucking twenty five. Yeah. And what I wanna you're say to grown, you is that grown you're grown mm. and Fuck it. If they get mad at you, fuck it. Yeah, bro. They're still going to be your... And yeah. if they want to disown you, that speaks more on their character. It does. That they're pieces of shit. Yeah. Because if, they're, if, they're, if they really love, love you, you, you're going to do whatever the fuck you want, and they're yeah. still going to fucking love you. And that's my point here. Like, I mm. just speak my fucking mind now. Yeah. And if that bothers you in some type of way, I'm sorry. I don't give a mm. fuck. Like, I'm, I'm grown. Facts. Like, the mentality that I have is um, I, I would think like that. So, I get that point of view of I don't want my parents to know where the fuck I'm at. And you're like, leave me alone. Like, I'm just, I'm my friends. Like, now I'm, in, now I'm in a state of mind of what if something happens to me? What if I die somewhere and I'm missing? Like, oh, well, I don't even know where he was at last. Now I tell him, hey, I'm here at the podcast. Like, they, they know where I was at last. So, they can go looking for me if some shit happens. It's just about safety. I'm going to be 27 this year. I still tell my mom when I'm going somewhere, where I'm going. It's not as in they have control over me. It's about... Like my parents always told me, no somos pintados. Like I'm not just a picture on the wall. Like tell me where you're at for safety too. Yeah, now, so I, but now, back, back, now, back then it's like fuck that shit. Way, you know? yeah. Like I'm not gonna tell you I'm gonna two a.m. with some friends or with a girl. Like, well, I think the issue more with that is like they come from families that are like they're strict. Like no, man. no, no. Like I mean, like mm-hmm. I know back then and like you know you live in ranchos and shit. Like mm. people know each other on a first name basis. Yeah. Like. You're also a representative of the family too. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I understand it's that. not. It's not only like, oh yeah, like uh, you, to some extent, yeah. But the whole reason that there's even that kind of mentality is because back then, it, or or even just over there, is like you're rep- you're representing the family in every shape or, or every shape and form. Anytime you speak, so it's like yeah, like we need to kind of have not censorship, but we need to see in some cases censorship, mm. but. I care about what the fuck you say, you know, like if, for example, like if, uh, I don't know if my parents were like from back there and shit and like, they would worry about what I would say on the podcast or something like that because it'd be like, yeah, dude, you fucking represent what the fuck we are about. Yeah. And if you talk shit on us and, or say some stupid shit, now our whole family looks bad, you know? Yeah. So I see that aspect of it too. But now in this day and age, it's not like that because now I think this over here, at least it's an understanding that. You're only accountable personally, not generationally. Yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, not, we're, we're not in the fucking rancho anymore. Like, you're not going to disgrace my whole family, you know. Yeah, but we're not in the rancho anymore. Like, that's yeah, why, I mean, generations are get away from that. Are, mm-hmm. Yeah, we got we to gotta steer away from that. And I think... There's no horses here, bro. Like, <laughs> like, it don't matter if you're a girl or a guy. Like, a guy can do just as much as a girl and a girl can, too. Like, she can take care of herself, too. Like, it's fine. I understand it's it's very different as in, like, oh, a dude can defend and stuff. But girls, in teenage girls fucking, like, get down just as much as dudes. And just stay in a group. If you're going to go out, be safe. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's different. Like, like, be careful. I think I'm more gearing towards, like, our our generation when we're parents. Mm-hmm. If that day comes, it's gonna be different. We, we need to make those, like, changes. Uh-huh. And, like, and if you're a parent now, you're a young parent, which I'm assuming you are because you listen to us. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know any, like, super old people who listen to us. But, yeah. Um, Shout out to my dad. Yeah, like, if you have kids, like, maybe think about that, too. Like, don't. Go crazy strict on your kids. Don't like, go remember crazy. when you were teenager. Obviously, yeah, you still got to remind them that you're the fucking parent mm-hmm. and what your your law, what you say goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But sure, sure. also understand that if you get too strict on them, they're just gonna start doing. They're gonna it. rebel. Yeah, they're gonna rebel. You know, mm-hmm. it's not gonna benefit you because like somebody that's like told their whole life, don't do anything, don't do this. They're gonna do a lot of it later on, and that's just gonna be a problem. Like people that okay, like I I, I know somebody that fucking drinks a lot and shit and they had a problem for a while and then they stopped but back then they weren't told to drink at all even though they turned 21 yeah. and their parents were super strict so this person was like fuck that i'm i'm gonna fucking drink now that i can i'm gonna go out everywhere so this person was going out drinking every day and it became a problem yeah. well look at me bro fucking at 23 i was tapped out i was like i already partied enough in my yeah. head for some reason i was that's like, good i partied enough already like i was like I can go to a party here and there, but, like, I'm and not, like, someone. It. Yeah, like, I'm not someone that I want to go and party anymore. It's just, like, oh, you're having a party? Okay, well, I'll go because it's your party. You know what time of the week it is, baby? Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> it's back for the week time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, this one is Tiene la Sangre Liviana. 
Word. Word. Mm. Word. I don't know yeah. what I mean. Palabra. Mm. I, just, I used to just be like, Simon. Simon keys. Yeah. So translate yeah. to Simon. 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 Their blood is light. Blood is light. Yeah. yeah. Blood is light. Plain. It doesn't translate. It doesn't translate directly into English. Yeah. Pretty much that means like. Give me an example. That you're pure. Right? And like, when, when you're, let's say your parents, you bring somebody around for the first time and then your parents meet them, they'll be like, oh, esa persona tiene a sangre Mm-hmm. Which means like they're a good hearted person. They're pure, you know, whatever. Just shit like that. My parents did actually tell me that shit about like some girls that I brought around, you know? Like they got that instant, like to some, you know, like when you hang out with girls or a guy, like don't ever bring them around again. Yeah. They just get that feeling, right? Like yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. don't ever fucking dare bring that motherfucker in my house again. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then when you heard that phrase, like, Diana they're, they're yeah. like, alright. So they're so they're cool to my parents, you know? Like it's just somebody who's like easy to talk to, somebody who has like good intentions and mm-hmm. like and you don't ever hear that about yourself? Like, I mean, you seem like they've oh. never heard. You know, I, parents I know, love I Gazelle, have, bro. I know, have, I know people, parents Maybe have said they, They'll say it about you, yeah, but not in front of yeah, you. Yeah, they, 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 it's usually when you walk away, they're not going to be like, hey, I mean, if you do, I mean, hey, kudos to you if you do that shit. My mom always has, it's, it's has to, good stuff to say about you. It's to, it's, yeah, but you, I know that you're going to hear it. I know, actually, everybody in this room. Everybody here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about me, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I've yeah. heard about myself. It's like, but I was like, what the fuck? Everybody asked me for out of arrow today. <laughs> I mean, there's people in the front group where I'm like, you motherfuckers are brought girls around. I'm like, really? That one? <laughs> like, that one? Even long, it's like one people time. who, like, the they're, they're making faces right off the bat, like, yeah. bad, like bad faces. You're who like, that, right? Who the fuck do you yeah. think you are? Yeah, yeah, so with your bad knees. Yeah, bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Can't get mad. Yeah. Can't get mad. Can't get mad. I've mainly heard it, not about girls, because, like I said, I never really brought them around. Mm-hmm. But, like, you guys. My, my, my mom loves all you guys I don't say my mom Because like my dad's a really quiet guy He don't talk But he does like you guys But like my mom is the one That talks a fuckload And she's like Yeah I, I love them Like they're great Like for her Like her fucking favorite of all Is like Is YouTube Obviously because You don't really come around a lot But like yeah, it's YouTube yeah. So like she says that, but both you guys, me, right? I don't know I don't It goes back and forth Because she likes both you guys She's like I can tell that they don't Take advantage of you Like they're nice They're kind They're good friends Like yeah. I thought she saw me She was like <laughs> my mom has no fucking filter, dude. <laughs> my mom doesn't either. Yeah, it's all good. You know, like, you know when you come around. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, your mom. Hey, Johnny, you're fucking hey. fat. Parents, but she was like, fuck well, it. When you bring it up fat. like that, my parents have also said nice things about all of you guys, too. Oh, no, I swear. Like, especially, especially well, like, me first. Well, honestly, you too, because you don't really come around, because you're in your room. <laughs> You know, so they yeah. only they only know me as like, oh, he goes to Lalo's house. I think he's gay. You know, <laughs> Dude. So, let's go. Uh, for a while, they thought I was, they thought I was crooked. Hoftin. Yeah, they thought <laughs> I was that. Yeah. <laughs> so like, but they've also said that you know, like, oh, like Johnny, he's so funny. Like, oh my god, like, and he's like being dead ass serious. Like, oh yeah, I'm broke and shit. Like, you know, <laughs> crazy. And then with he plays too much. And then with John too, it's like, <laughs> so I, like random. they're like, oh, like I love the way Jonathan carries himself. Like he, you know, he's respectful and stuff. Like I love that about him. You know. I got more to carry. Yes, well, they did t- t- They said get some good shit about you that one time. Remember when I took the couch out yeah. and they're like, "Oh, look, he's helping you he's find strong. your keys." Uh, <laughs> yeah. He eats a lot. Uh, he, he, a he, lot. he lost a lot of weight. Yeah, he's good at Damn. Him, <laughs> his his is pretty. Oh, nice. for sure. <laughs> Nothing about me. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody around me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a new car? I think that you know, the dude is bad friends of the week. Yep. Oh, yeah, but you got shout outs. Go ahead, Johnny. Um, I'll, I'll give a shout out to, to my girl. I'll, I'll, I'll give a shout out to to the homie Frank. I know he's always fucking sharing. That's the homie. Um, and that, that's that's as far as I uh, remember. I'm sure you got those shout outs. Shout out my girl. Shout out um Jonathan, Lalo, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out them though because they helped me out with this music video. So thank you guys and go remember go check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, Dream catchers, you know, Z. yeah, and the link, you know. The link's not below, but <laughs> it'll be below. <laughs> but it'll be below. um, yeah, go check it out. It's streaming on all platforms: Spotify, Apple Music, Title, mm. uh, YouTube, YouTube Music, and honestly, the visuals are up there too on YouTube. So make sure you go go check that out and uh, leave you know comments and reviews and see what you know. Tell me thing. what you guys think and stuff. And add it to your playlist on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like sure, it hard if you can. That and also make sure that you grade this podcast five stars. You know, so that way we can that's finally sad. move up in the world and actually yeah. buy some new mics and yeah. not be broke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that's all. That's all I have right that's now. That's all, folks. Yeah. Let's get into this week's mother. Oh, that's a long shit. game. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Bro, I'm gonna take a- Shout out to Monica Madrid, Desi Nicole, Michelle Guevara, Jeremy yeah. Granados, El Morro Luis, Jorge Tinoco, mm. Karina, Kaylee, eight zero zero, Liz, mm. and this Cruz. Mm-hmm. Valente, be 
Sana, OG Hot Dog, Jessica Chantel, Davy the Don, Yo. Yu Gomez, Undress.etc, Claudia Hernandez, Jesus underscore E46, Hector Santa Maria, Mitzi Ramirez, Alex Marmalejo, Top Tier, Shout out to you. You're my teacher. Oh no, I already said that. Uh, Esme202, Alexandra Garcia, Leek Javon, uh, Cindy oh, Camacho, Bubbly, Bookaholic, La Dama, Muchacha de Michoacán, yes, sir. G underscore Izel, uh, Evelyn Munoz, and the homie Samuel Lone oh, from Fuerza no Regida. Let's go. He shared our shit. Thank you. Yes, dope as fuck. Oh, Imagine yeah, that was sir. just all one name. Like, <laughs> shout out to all the people who left comments too on our last uh, YouTube video. Mm -hmm. um, we don't shout you guys out, but if you guys want to shout out, come over to the Instagram if you guys don't follow us already and just share one of the clips. And share one of the we'll clips. And check if your stories are private. Well, so we, we do. Tag us, we, we really do it. appreciate the people who comment on the YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Helps. Lot, that it helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to Raul Gasca. I'm gonna all his comments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and shout out to the people that have also interacted with us on live and shit, and on the fucking post that I usually post on a Tuesday or Thursday, depending on. Oh you know shit, we forgot to get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never got into it, but hey, you know what? Ideas for next week. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, and well, you know what? We'll try to live, you know, as much as we possibly can. You yeah. know, like when we can, we're all together, obviously. So make sure to tap in. So yeah, when you guys see that, make sure you, you know, see what the fuck we're doing, right? We appreciate that. Uh, shout out to everybody that listened to us since the beginning. Uh, and go bump dream catchers. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, go bump dream catchers. Um, you know, be nice to each other. You know, um, if you want to start a podcast, start this shit. And a lot of people excuse me uh listen to us and then they do be asking about like a lot of podcasts or should i start it and all that shit just go ahead and start it bro i mean start it with your homies start it for fun if shit something comes out of it and just be happy something came out of it but start it for fun it's fun to look back at the memories and laugh yeah. at the dumb ass shit that you say it's cool to see it. like if you keep at it it's cool to see the progression um and yeah i mean if i would suggest anything is a roadcaster pro so what we use right here and for little mics these are each 100 dollars one of you can pull out a loan like david at the beginning <laughs> and then hey fucking start one and have fun it's, it's just, it makes this shit easy and you guys will have fun and you'll see it uh this is this is pretty it's pretty fun and yeah. you make a lot of memories so. and be yourself most importantly yeah, yeah, yeah. be yourself yeah. Don't, don't, don't go out here being a character and shit yeah. i feel like I, I i elevate myself like a little bit more than i usually am in the sense yeah. of like um i'm very more like kick back and i like laugh and shit yeah but i am who i am you know what i'm saying i but i do for the part that i try to like yeah amp yeah, it yeah. up a little bit more yeah you, know you amp it up but you're yeah. yourself but you know? I'm you're fine. Yeah, okay but yeah i think with that we out. Thanks. Peace. Peace.